Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here. And welcome back to another Elden Ring Invasion stream. Hello everybody, hello. What's up? How are you today? Am I a pure caster or a infuse build? A little bit of both. Uh, so we have a lot of the faith requirement weapons that have pretty high faith requirements. So the Golden Order Greats are 28 faith. You know, I, I'm, I'm mostly faith with minimum physical requirements this time. As opposed to my like spell sword character. And then I have a few... Miracles I wanted to try out, see how they work. I have regen, I have uh, the Dragon Bolt Blessing, and two actual attack incantations, but I'm still going to be focusing mostly on the weapons. Because I like my swords. What's up, guys? Hello, Big Fan. Hello, Jinx. Dave, hello. Michael, hello. Drift, hello. What's up, guys? I am late today, late start. Here's the stats on the right for you guys. Here's all the weapons that I plan to use for today. Just take that in really quick while I do this for one second. Okay, seems like everything is good to go. Yes, yeah, spells? Ew, yeah, I'm probably not going to be using the spells. Oh, I'm not online. <laughs> Too much, but... Oh, wait, also, you know, I started late today because Steam does this maintenance on Tuesday, and uh, I'm hoping it already happened. <laughs> no, Steam's down right now, man. Right now. I... <laughs> That's the whole reason I started late. No. <laughs> no. Oh, well, I guess we can just, like, talk about some of the weapons. Do you guys have any other faith weapons you think I should find in my own time? Um, I, I there's, a, there's a magma curve sword that I want to collect. I've been farming the stupid lizards at the Volcano Manor. It never dropped yet, so... Uh, yeah, I just have the, the lava whip instead. Hey, and Manjifera, thank you so much. I appreciate that. All, dude, I actually started late today to avoid the Steam thing. Doesn't it usually happen around 6 p.m. Eastern? That's so sad. I also don't have the big, uh, one of these guys weapons. I don't have the big version, though. The Envoy Longhorn, like the big one. Let's check how much this Ash Board does. Okay, that's pretty good, but, uh, it's pretty slow. So there's that. Can you backstab these guys? You can! Okay. Moonveil on a faith build. That's some bravery right there. I'm down for that. Oh yeah, th this one, is this the, the longest one? Or is this the like medium, no this is the medium sized one. It's a meme weapon. <laughs> there we go. I don't think they'll ever drop it unless you have pretty good luck or like I'm running my arcane build to farm them but what's this golden rune okay are you planning on to farm the spear from the clean rot knights yeah I'm trying to get all the weapons pretty slowly I've been farming the ones that I know I want for sure but there are some that have just eluded me so far bubble bubble power is pretty good yeah I do need to try the bubbles out they scale off pure faith right you say steam is back um is it? No, for me, Steam's not back yet. What's the sword next to the Golden Order Great Sword, and why not Flame Infusions? I have some that are Flame Infusions. See? Get the Claymore right there. Uh, Curtis. So it depends. I have some Sacred, because I, I wanted to have, like, a Lightning Ash of War. They still scale off Faith just as well as the Fire, so this build kind of allows a little of both. You can have Fire Infusions and Lightning and Sacred. Well, not Lightning, sorry. Sacred. But you can still use Lightning Ashes of War on top and have them sacred infused if you know what i mean is it oh, steam is back you said you. hmm mine isn't yet that sword next to golden maybe Oil i'll great sword and why not flame art infusions my boy uh but yeah i have a few flame hearts i have uh the red man's flame here i have the uh flaming strike here this one is a fire weapon i guess and then i have a lot of uh lightning and uh, sacred infusions as well thank you though curtis i appreciate that man well, my steam is slower than you guys. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because... No. I think it just takes, like, per region, it'll take a second for it to come back. Hey, what's up, Aether? We're just waiting for steam to come back online. Yeah, well, you can open your Steam and stuff. I think, I don't know if you guys are confused. You just if you look at the bottom, it'll say no connection. Restart my Steam. Will that close my game, though? Maybe it won't. Oh, that did fix it. That's so dumb. Okay. 
It was my Steam. Thank you, thank you. There we go. Gotta make a stream to where Chase can't use spears, great swords, or colossals. That's like 30% of the weapons. <laughs> thank you, Revy. I appreciate that. I just, I never stick to one weapon type. I just, I don't think it's the best bet. You'll come across people wielding really fast weapons against like, even like super slow, even great swords. Like I don't always use great swords. I just choose ones that are based on the situation. Claws and daggers oh, only. <laughs> that would be interesting. Only fists. Are the claws considered fist weapons? Um, I don't think they are. I think they're claw. And then the oh, I don't have a I don't have a cestus on this character, but those are considered fists. So. Excuse me. Now everyone's gonna be like me. They don't have their Steam online until they reset it. <laughs> Tuesday is honestly one of the worst days because of that, when I decide to stream this late. Uh, Bloodhound Step needs a tone down. As much as like all of us use it to escape a lot of the, the sorceries and stuff, it, it has too many iframes, for sure. I can't catch somebody blood stepping, in, like, at least in a 1v1. Hey Chase, what do you make of STR only builds in the meta right now? Strength only builds in the meta? Uh, well, when I do strength, Rowan, what I do is you can have certain weapons heavy infused that do the best like that, and then you can have some cold infused or fire infused they all scale off strength so uh if you have like the great sword let's say which i don't have in my inventory like the big bulky great sword colossal it scales pretty damn well even cold infused it gets a b in strength so you can have uh ice proc weapons you can have uh fire infused weapons that work so you get like a variety i actually like strength a lot thank you man and a crispy peener <laughs> been a minute since i caught a stream but excited thank you man yeah we're just trying out a lot of the faith weapons today and maybe some of the faith spells depending on how good they do been a minute since i caught a stream but uh, i mean there's no way to really deal with the carrion glitch except for trying to you know go near them run horizontally dodge it even though it's invisible and then hope they just you don't recast it or use up all their casts dodge oh that drains your hp even when it misses okay that's the one thing I'm going to have to say about uh, this current issue, is a lot of the spells can be used through dodges, which is a little bit on the lame side, I'm going to say. I'm going to go buy them with the Bloodhound Step, as we just talked about. <laughs> like, it is, it is very strong, but a lot of the AoE spells are as well. So I think there's a lot of things that need some toning down, in my opinion. Okay, did we get to cast our Bestial Vitality? Hang on, I actually want to see how good this regeneration does as a, as a test. Let's see. I haven't really gotten a chance to test out all the miracles yet. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Jeez. Oh, that explosion behind me. Oh, nice. Okay. Good test, good test. So it is worth it to have the regen going. Hello there, Rad Rad Radigen Storm. Radigen Storm? I didn't even read his name until right now. Dodge. Hello there. It's FP Boy the Build. Oh, and a moon veil. And I'm stuck here forever. Woo, 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 woo. Okay. <laughs> Did you just say frost by park scales with strength? Yes, certain I weapons do. About that. So at Pollock, what it does is it lowers the physical scaling a little bit and adds int. But because a lot of weapons still have decent physical scaling, it still gets good damage per point. It's pretty cool, actually. I, I like it a lot. It was working really well for me. Oh no, I mean, you run into cheaters all the time. Hello there. It's something you get used to. <laughs> nice health on- eh, I can't English. Nice health on that guy though. He's got his overleveled carry him. And then he's got, you know, the, the arcane build in the background, I guess. Hello. Let some more of the regen do some work here. Was getting between 600 to 900 players that tried to do a attack on me. Those <laughs> I'm worried about this guy's dragon casting. But so far it doesn't seem too bad. Let's see, he's gonna do a jumping attack. Yeah. Thought he'd get a little bit closer. I'm watching you, Moon Veiler. <laughs> Two strong AoEs. Okay. I wonder how good the spell does. Hey there. Okay. Jump attack? No. He didn't do it. Okay. I want to see. 
It's actually really hard to cast the lightning though, as, as they're in and out of all the buildings. Um, well, yo, the URTV, thank I've you so much, man. Empire Lock, thank you, man. Thank you for the I have to read all those days. as soon as I'm done this invasion, because it's uh, <laughs> a lot of voices at once. Hang on. I'm coming, boys. You know what we could do? We could recast our regen, too. That's pretty cool. Say the spell is slow, but comboing it. Oh, what am I hearing? Oh, I think the guy jumped down, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Oh, well. Um, hello there, Katana lad. We can try the Flame of Red main. <laughs> They're split up. They need to be together to fight. Oh. I'll just go kill the Phantom. Hello. Hey there. I would have backstabbed that, but sadly they don't work like they once did. Oh. I didn't see him get there. <laughs> Too bad he missed me though. It's fine. Hello there, double great sword lad. Your jumps will be no veiling here. Woo! Moon veil. <laughs> um, I don't know what to use in this situation. We can go with, like, honestly, the spears are always good. This guy actually does not have much health left. So we could get aggressive with that. This guy never had health to begin with. Ah, you guys got too cocky together. <laughs> this is why the Flame of Red Mane. Oh, wait, this is Flaming Strike. Flame of Red Mane, I want to try, though. See the damage output difference. There we go. Yo, okay, so let me read all this for you guys. Matthew, bro, love the content. I've been watching for years and wanted to say thank you for all the PvP builds. Dude, thank you, man. That's why I like uploading all the builds. Helps out new players and, you know, people that have been into the Soul series for quite some time. Um, and I just enjoy sharing what I use. Uh, Zanswith, thanks so much, man. I appreciate that. Uh, and then Akinji. Uh, have you tried out the pulley crossbow? No, I haven't really dabbled in a lot of the bows and uh, the great bows yet, if there are any. Lightning. Hard to hit without enduring Thank you, man. No I do need to try all that out, though. Aggressive. Fools never get sold. Damn, 47 faith with death lightning, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna make casters eventually. I'm just focusing more on the melee right now. Because I'm switching up the build every, like, stream for you guys, so... I've been trying to collect all the weapons and try them out. See how they work. Yeah, no problem, man. There you go. Let's try the... I haven't tried the wing scythe at all yet, either. Oh, thank you guys, honestly. It's been so fun, to be honest. It's very different than Dark Souls, like the combat, I find, but like, build making seems very similar. Why can't I invade? Okay. What do I think about the heavy thrusting swords? I use them quite a lot, uh, mostly for stat procs. Like, I, I used them bleed frostbite so far, and they've worked. I do want to try this out, even though it was a bit slow, though. <laughs> I want to see how good the, the damage output is. Dishonest casters? <laughs> yeah, we do have to try that out still. Uh, with Catch Flame? Is that a, a spell? Or do you mean the, the Ash of War, the Flame Strike one? Uh, I did use the God Slayer Greatsword. I have like a Strength Faith version. This one's more like very heavy faith investment version. So I don't have it on this build, but it was pretty good. Thank you. So let's say I have a cold infused Sphihandar. You say that strength is the best stat for increasing uh, the frost. So or... it really depends. I don't know for the Zweihander because I, I don't I can't really remember right now. But let's say you have a weapon that has like a B or an A scaling in strength. When you cold infuse it, it's still probably going to have a B scaling in strength. So and it's going to add intelligence scaling. So you can get either all of your damage output from hitting like 40 strength on it and then investing in intelligence. Uh, or, you know, you can keep it even. It's pretty much equal between uh, strength and int at that point. Some weapons will be more physical scaling, like the greatsword, like I said. And then some are dex int. Like, it depends on the weapon. It lowers the physical scaling a little bit, adds intelligence, but the physical one still works really well. Uh, look at my fire and ice build if you want to see what I'm talking about. Uh, Sam Owen, thank you so much. What's going on with the, with the invasions right now, though? I'm, like, stuck not invading what the 
Oh, it's just like failing on some people, I guess. Damn, it takes a long time for the invasion to fail if it like tries to connect to somebody that doesn't have the best connection. What the? There we go. Yeah, because Steam goes down Black Knight um, on Tuesday. Steam has like their maintenance. Thank you, though. <laughs> 10. Uh, I haven't really done like a full on hybrid build yet. Rust pit, I'm trying out the weapons first. <laughs> Shit, okay. Guess they still didn't fix the uh, connection issues, huh? Oh yeah, there's sleep arrows. I do need to try all the sleep. I wonder if you can make a sleep oriented build. There's like the, the sleep straight swords and then you have the sleep arrows and then I guess you can use the So the pulley crossbow has sleep bolts as well, you're saying. That's hilarious. <laughs> I wonder how fast people sleep from it. I have one of the coated swords, Kyle. It's, uh, it's over here. I do want to try that out as well on someone who's shielding. <laughs> I actually love those little attacks. They're so funny. I'm coming. Daddy Pontiff. Hello. Jesus Beam. Um, let's try the Flame of Red Mane. I really want to see how good it is. So it's got a decent amount of range. That actually hit that guy from over there. Daddy Pontiff. We dodge off. I wonder if that'll go down the... Oh, it didn't. Okay. Hey there. The Wizard. I'm watching the Wizard. I, I'm down for a fight with Daddy Pontiff, but... Oh, but not with that behind me. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. This could be good. What does that do? Is that a buff? Oh my god, it's the AoE team. <laughs> oh god, two of the most annoying AoEs. Um... Let's get a little bit of our regen going while that just follows me for whatever reason. Wait, that didn't really do much damage, though. <laughs> uh, do you ever get tilted? You know, sometimes I'll get annoyed, uh, mister, but for, for the most part, no. I'm just very used to the Souls games. Thank you. There we go. What, they just kind of left, I guess. They used that as a cover. Uh, sleep bolt burst into giant hunt. Oh my god. Like, if you get the pulley off with the, with the sleep. That's interesting. Um. Yeah, it's, Elden Ring's very different if you're coming from the Dark Souls games. There's a lot of spell usage. You really do need to get used to it. Unfortunately. If they make a, a few more things cost higher FP, it would, it would help it out a little bit. But, for the most part... You do have to just kind of like avoid the AoE for a little bit while they cast it. Hey, Vinny, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Hey, guys. <laughs> um, let's just do this so I can really quickly kill one of them while I dodge the other one. Okay, maybe we'll go for the wizard. I need some FP back here. Does he have cold weapons? I think he does, yeah. Yeah, he's got a little bit of the cold. The lock-on with the pull right there is quite interesting. Been enjoying your amazing about videos and first time sending something in chat. Just wanted to thank you for <laughs> Your host is over there dying to whatever that is. Yeah, there goes the host. Alright. <laughs> then we could try it. I wonder how much damage this would do. Uh, it doesn't always combo. Okay. Sadly. Also, the camera's weird around pillars. I just noticed that right there in that invasion. Gotta watch out for the camera. Yo, Pei, thank you so much, man. Uh, welcome, then. <laughs> Just want to say thank you for the great content. Thank you, man. I'm enjoying all the different types of, like, weapons each of the builds can have. There we go. Let's try the scythe out. I haven't used scythe a lot. I am on PC, indeed.
Nice. So you finished at 135. I think I finished at 130. Yeah. Um. No, no, no. 130 is probably my end goal for my character's role. I'm just like 120 to 130. I'm just trying out all the builds at different soul levels. It's something I've always done on the Souls games. Like some people enjoy like mid-level, like on the highest end, I would recommend maybe 150. Or you know what? If you want to hit the entire play base, 135 because a lot of people are set on 125 and then you have the, the newer players that really like 150. You can hit them both up at 135. Uh, I'm 90 to try out certain areas that I probably won't get to invade at some of the higher levels as much. Whoa. This way. Usually in the Souls games, I always invade between uh, 90 to 1, one I guess, 39, 140 for Dark Souls 3. Yeah, I, I'm going to probably be 130 more often here, though. Just because there's, I don't know. It hits up, like, the end of the playthrough. There's so many areas you can invade. What the? Okay, that's another team going to the boss fight. <laughs> Maybe I won't invade the West Capital area. I'll go to, like, the beginning of it so they're not always near the boss. Yeah, I'd say 80 to 125. Yeah, 80 to 125, 130 is good anywhere. You... Have you tried Bestial Sling greater than Honefault greater than Black Blade yet? Have I tried Bestial Sling to... No, I haven't used a lot of spells. I've been mostly uh, going pure melee based for my builds at the moment. I probably would have been closer to 140 beating the game. But I think 130 is like a perfect stopping point for balance. Because, like, I talk about this a lot, but 125, you can have a build with 60 Vigor, 60 of your chosen damage, to, uh, damage stat. And then, you know, maybe, like, 30, 35 points in Endurance, depending on what kind of build you're going for and how much you need. Uh, that, these are more for the, the melee-type builds. And if you go to 150, you're just going to have, like, 80 of a damage stat, and you don't invest more health than 60 Vigor, because it doesn't scale past that. So, you're just getting builds that have way more damage-to-health ratio at 150 than 125. That's the only difference, like... You can't invest in your vigor. So, and the damage in this game is already so high. Like, yo, I'm at level 90 sometimes, and some people have to almost one-shot me with some Ashes of War. Same with some of the things that I do. So, I'd say 130 is fine. You don't need to go much higher than that. Uh, Curtis, thank you so much, man. The sword to the right of the Golden Order. Oh, what did I confuse your question with earlier? The left? Uh, Michael... Mi My god, there's too many names. McKellen Knight Sword. <laughs> Mc Michaela McKellen. Yeah, uh, it's just a straight sword that has the uh, Sacred Blade buff. <laughs> you can, uh, I might hold that with the Coated Sword. That's like a dual wield thing. Oops, that's not the Coated Sword. That's the Coated Sword. Uh, yeah, I think, I don't know the ra the range upward and downward on Elden Ring, but if you go something similar to the DS3 range, I would say 135 is safer. But yeah. Am I completely screwed at 400? I mean, you might find some people, but your yeah, your activity is gonna be quite low when the game gets out of its like brand new phase. If you know what I mean. Man, I picked a bad day. Those Steam Tuesdays suck. Okay, we'll go to a different area, I guess. Um, we'll go to the Kalid ruins. Oh, is it like Dark Souls 3 then Eternal, where like anything above 300 just matches each other? I'm not sure, because I never just go that high. Look at the view. I know, that's such a nice standing spot. Is Steam down again? Is mine down again, dude? <laughs> yeah, I might go to Nocron after. Oh, I probably will go to Nocron after, like 100%. Sorry, not might. I will. Let's try out... Yeah, the scythe. Yeah. Damn. Steam Steam just goes in and out on Tuesdays. It's rough. Okay, we'll go this way, though. We found an invasion. Casty pants! My natural enemy! Double casty pants! Oh, no. <laughs> the lightning caster... Whoa, that's pretty though, but uh hey, hey boys, hey boys, can we talk we can talk about this, right? We have the same scythe. 
<laughs> oh, he buffed himself up. All right. Cannon of Haima. Oh, that's not the Cannon of Haima. <laughs> the absolute state of invasions. You just kind of got to wait out their first couple casts. They'll drain some of their own FP, and then they'll start to get into the actual fight. Which, you know, then then that's when you start retaliating. Gah! How's the running attack on this? So they got one guy just chilling in the back. I think they realize that I'm pretty decent at dodging wizardry. As it's been a lot of my uh, invasion career. <laughs> I spent a lot of time dodging wizards. Oh, that has like an AoE. Oh, that's kind of cool. Well, this guy can't heal anymore, so... Um... Katana to finish him, maybe? Oh, yeah, I forgot he has that ability. <laughs> okay. Hey, wizard. I don't know what that guy's doing back there. Oh, he's throwing shit. Okay. Makes sense, makes sense. Let's get our regen one going, and then... You think you're the only ones who can cast... Oh, so walls in your way. Okay, okay. That does it even for the lightning bolt. I have wizardry too. Bat! In the form of my sword, silly. I wonder if I have one more blast in me. I do. I'll take the trade. <laughs> Wall. There goes your wizard, sir. And now we try it. We have a little bit of fun here. We got some FP back. <laughs> oh, why are you still standing there? What a brave guy. What the hell? <laughs> Takes an AOE blast to the face. He doesn't care. Oh, okay. I'll take it. I didn't think it was going to work, but... Oh, that's fancy looking, but not very useful. <laughs> what about this one? A little bit more FP here. Some oh, I'm still holding this? What happened to my wind scythe? <laughs> Come here. Give me another bum. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Scythes have a unique backstab animation? Didn't know that. I did not know that. That's cool. Very cool. <laughs> Backstabs in Elden Ring? They exist from time to time indeed. Uh, I did, yeah. Uh, Tongarism. Going to try the Halo and Angel Scythe? Oh, I could try those out together, you're right. <laughs> they did, they actually added a unique Scythe animation, wow. I have the weight load for this, right, I think? Sure. Let's try that out. Let's go more towards the beginning of Caleb, though. They have a unique repost as well. Damn. Hmm. That's pretty cool, actually. I'm excited they have a backstab. Dun, dun. I just have a lot of vigor. I always have a lot of vigor. <laughs> Even when I played Dark Souls 3, everyone asks like why I take so little damage. It's not that I'm taking little damage, it's that they all have like lower HP than they should. Because they want to output more FP for like magic spam or like Ashes of War spam. I don't level my mind. I think 10 FP is or 10 mind is more than enough. I don't usually run out of my FP. Because I don't really spam my Ashes of War. Try the jump attack with them? Yeah, sure. Jump L1, right? Ooh, that's pretty cool. The standard L1s are a little on the slow side, but... uh. We'll see how they work. This way. Yeah, when I went to level some of my mind, I got like one to two or to maybe three mind per point. And it, it, like, it was it was so varied. I didn't find it worth it. I just don't spam my ashes of war. Jump L two. There's no jump L two. <laughs> you almost just blew my mind right there. I was like, have I not been jump L twoing? 
it ramps up after 20. Okay, so it starts... Yeah, it has, like, diminishing returns before 20. That's so weird. <laughs> that would have been cool, though. A jumping Ash of War? Damn, I would have been down with that. How blind am I? <laughs> the answer is very... Okay, a bonfire duel. All right, I'll entertain you. Hey, you got a hunter summoned. Um, Which one of these is more fun? You could try this, I guess. Hello. Where's your blue? Oh, yeah, he wants some, like, honor fight. All right, then. You get the sweaty set up. Let's go. Show him what you got, Ansper. Crouch. Crouch attacks with the rapiers are not that good. Honestly. Jabated. The untouchable. Is that poison or scarlet? No, red. Don't do it, dude. Don't do it. No. Or. Or do it, I guess. Sure. All right, I guess. <laughs> I'll give you a bow, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever floats their boat, I guess. <laughs> that was weird, but all right. Cool. Fun fight, Wake Mask. <laughs> Bro. Red sometimes. I was worried about the host getting hit in the back. Nope. He was coming for me. He wanted me. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, for sure. I get a lot of like the grace point like viewers. That's why they're so honorable sometimes. And then you get the random red. <laughs> that just attacks you. Hey, N, uh, can I ask how you hold, you attack with both weapons? Oh, just L1. They have to be of the same class, though. So you can't hold, like, a straight sword and a great sword and, uh, get a dual wield attack. They have to be both in the same type of attack, or build, or weapon. Jeez. So these are both Reapers, Let's see. Uh, it just means they have their, um... Rune arc active. Uh, Johnny. So he's just giving you a warning that they're they're boosted a little bit by their great rune. Poo. <laughs> what could possibly be? What could that guy's name be? I don't even know, but I like that poo is fine. <laughs> oh, that's, that's good fun. Oh man, um, it's Ash of War, the video game. <laughs> oh man, it's so funny. Are we getting close to being out of FP? I mean, we only started that fight with about 20 Ashes of War. Um, hang on, let's put our sights back on here. Oh, that was a good jump. Okay. <laughs> this is why I keep that step on me. The beginning of my fights are always AOE spam. It's like Chase the Dodge Artist. I'm just gonna name myself that. We'll dodge <laughs> for the first five minutes of the invasion. Hang on a second. Let me get my uh, regen going here. <laughs> You thought. There you go. Have I dwindled them a little bit, you think? Possibly. Not really. No. Still going up. Okay. Chase the iframe. There we go. That's my new nickname. Just because, like, wow. <laughs> do you think they'll swing their sword eventually? I don't know. At this point, I'm uncertain. Hey, I have that sword too, man. 
Me too, Poo. Me too. Okay. Now you're getting low. Now you're going to have to start actually using that sword. Where's the guy? Where's the teammate with the dragon flame? It's coming. I already know it's on its way. Here's for you. <laughs> there it is. I called it. Goodbye, buddy. <laughs> my dragon breath. Not my dragon breath. <laughs> hey. Can I join in on the L2 wars? I also, I also have been known to dabble in the L2s every now and then. <laughs> Havarak. Whee! Got any more of those? My bleed build, my bar is going down the more and more you miss. Oh, that has good range. Damn, okay. <laughs> How am I so patient? Because I mean, if I run and I die, what are the options? -ah! Goodbye, sir. I'll still bow at you. <laughs> that is some good range on that, though. Oh, uh, I kind of like having the boosted Ash of War damage for some of my attacks. Alright, let's go try the city again. I tend to have more three-man teams there. Yeah, I noticed that right there, Nick. I guess that one worked because it was kind of downhill. Kind of traveled at him. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, I think I might start rocking that again, Mike. I used it a little bit a couple streams ago. All right, wait, question though. Is the Dragon Breath considered el elemental damage or... Because I'm not sure what the what the Scarlet Rot one would be. You know what I mean? It's not really an element. <laughs> yeah, there's no problem. Whatever you enjoy, Jib. Whatever you enjoy. <laughs> Yeah. It is? Okay, I mean, that's that's helpful. It, oh, if it's physical, yeah, that doesn't... That's honestly the only AoE I find to be one of the more annoying things. When the guy in the back just breathes the draw, Scarlet Raw Breath. Hmm, I would guess it would be magic. It's a status, so it can sit... Okay. I'll have to test that one. Uh, it deals physical damage. Okay, yeah. That won't work then, sadly. Um, This thing is kind of cool. The double straight swords. Yeah, I was kind of enjoying this moveset right there. Hello, Jesse. Oh, what's with all the lone players? Oops, sorry, I meant to bow. Uh, yeah, that was my bow. Just know that I meant to bow there. I don't know what to use here. Let's try this out. Ooh, Ooh yo, that did good damage. What? What? <laughs> How come that did such good damage? I did like 600. I don't see a problem with that. Oh, he's out of FP. Fun fight though, Jesse. Fancy. Fancy dagger. <laughs> Which one was that? The black knife. Yeah. Whoop. Cool. <laughs> Very fancy. Yeah, I tried the Golden Order a little bit times. We're going to be like going through all the weapons that I have, but um, yeah, I could use it some more for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that worked that well, to be honest. <laughs> um, Let's go to the poison area. Yeah, it seems to... That's what the one phantom used on me earlier, right? Like when I was dodging. It still did a little bit of damage. Oh, it lowers max HP. Interesting. Yeah, that's what I noticed. But is it only on the Ash of War? Not just on the swing, right? I mean, I, I hope it's not just on the swing. That's uh, that's kind of ridiculous if so. Yo, Raddy, been playing around with your Strength Faith kind of quality build. Really fun. Thank you, man. Uh, faith weapon's my favorite. Yeah, a lot of them, like some of the best weapons I've found have been on Faith, but then they also don't have as much variety as Int. So it's like an in-between love I have for each build. 
Yeah, and the damage on some of them isn't the best, really. I think a lot of you can do a lot with faith buffs eventually. I have to look more into all the miracles, but some of the Ashes of War have been very good. Thank you, man. Thank you. If I had to say if I preferred yeah. Interfaith, though, um, probably, really fun. probably Int, just because I like the cold infusement. Thank you, man. I think I like Int a little bit more just because it also gets access to the, the cold infusement, which is a good stat proc. Versus Faith doesn't really have that. They have fire and they have physical and I guess sacred, but none of them are like status proc. Uh, what am I what am I hearing over here? Hello there, sir. Taste my flame. Think y'all safe? Flame. That's actually pretty cool. It does okay range. You know what, as long as those aren't the carrion ones, it's fine. What's that? Death. He's hiding something back there. What's he doing? I didn't know there was a death spell. Um how long does it last? <laughs> it lasts a hell of a long time. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I did not want to backstab you there. Jump! Oh, I wanted to running attack that. <laughs> I'm missing out on the good fight down there. Hang on, sir. We must rid ourselves of the wizard. We'll block his Estus. This way you can't do any more ashen either. Ha 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 ha. Hey, no heals for you, sir. <laughs> nice. Right into the claw death. Alright, now what do we got going down there? Someone. Hello there, boys. You're just swooping in here. <laughs> nice. That was a fancy kill. I like this scythe. This is a nice scythe. Very nice. Yo, Sean. Thank you so much for the membership, man. The double. <laughs> the scythe double, dude. How much damage does the scythe do? I have 26. Basically the same as the greatsword. Dust, thank you for your excellent content and great attitude. Aw, oh, man. You guys are honestly so kind. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, I appreciate how you try to explain the mechanics and builds. Yeah, I try my best to like do that as I'm thinking of what I'm thinking while I fight. <laughs> Hard to word that, but a lot of people have questions about like some of the more basic things. So I try my best to, to explain it to you guys if you're new to the Souls games. Thank you, Dusk. Where are we right now? Mount Gelmir. Okay. Praise the double. I'm gonna try to use the scythe more actually. Thank it's pretty you for strong. Your excellent content and great attitude. I really appreciate how much you explain mechanics and builds. It helps me learn a lot as a new Souls player. So glad to catch a live stream. <laughs> thank you guys. And Rowan, thank you, man. Praise the double. The double. Chases hates for wizards makes me laugh. <laughs> Filthy wizards, man. I'm waiting on the day. You know what? I love all the Souls games, but you know what would be my favorite game of all time? Souls Combat, no magic. Oh, that'd be the dream. Oh. Honestly. Jedi, thank you so much. Jedi does jujitsu. Nice. Thank you. Um, I think Bleed's physical, which is rough. <laughs> if you were thinking of using the Crimson Whirl as well. Hello. Wizards. Yes. I know you're wizards. I can already tell. My blood, it boils. It can sense when wizards are near. I'm a little afraid to do my really cool Ash of War because I'll be like up in the air and he can just blast me with his wizard juices. Aha! Take that, wizard. <laughs> Take your wizard juices. What? Could this be good? I don't know what this does. We'll use this one as we're not fighting a wizard. They just chip you. Hmm. High DPS would be good. Thank you. I'll be a void. Smiley face. Been watching your vibes since early DS3 days. Finally in time to watch your live stream. It's so early here. 
smiley face. Chamo, thank you so much, man. It's so late for where Game I live. Chase, so yeah, other side of the world. Oh, shit, dude. Name. Freya, you really like that Ash of War, huh? It's okay. It's okay. We'll get you. We'll get you eventually. Aw, oh, that would have been great if the wizard wasn't casting right then. That would have been a free hit. Unfortunate. Thank you so much, though, Jamo. And David, no, it's just for Elden Ring. Everyone's just very excited for Elden Ring. Huh. This is why faith builds are kind of nice, actually. I have to say, the regen is really helpful against wizards. So when they play passive, I can uh, do the same and keep my health pretty high. Even when they try to chip me down. <laughs> is that the cannon or the slicer? That's the slicer. You gotta be low on stam, right? No, he's not, sadly. He's not low on the stam. Do I have a long range attack? I think. I have the red man's flame. Oh, that kind of hit me, not at first, but then it hit me through the wall. You think we'll swing swords soon? There we go. <laughs> Even the wizard's sword is a wizard blast. Amazing. <laughs> uh, actually hilarious. I love it. Yeah, we could try some Halo Sight thing. That's oh, I need I need to use my FP for that though. Ah no, his is faster. It's a little bit on the slow side. Mine has more range though, I think. Oh, the boy over there does not dodge well. He got hit by that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, he's out of FP. <laughs> I can deal with that. Hey there. <laughs> he's stuck on the wall. Him too. <laughs> you guys don't know how to run away properly. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Goodbye, Freya. <laughs> They were both running in here looking at me. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna have to get used to this fighting style, you know? Dark Souls 3, you go in, eat more, but like in Elden Ring, just people use too much of their... I'm telling you, man, they level FP over Vigor. It's just why so many of my fights result in like the first two minutes being nothing, and then we go, we go in to fight, and then it's over. <laughs> people need to calm down with the FP. I miss R1s as much as we used to laugh about R1 spam. I miss R1s, man. I miss sword swings. Uh, so yeah, the sword seal actually is, for the most part, worth it if you can't get your vigor at least to 40. Because those extra 5 levels that you get of health kind of make up for the lower absorption. At least in the span of one full health bar. So, I had my friend Lost hit me. Uh, with a great sword, like an average sized, like like five to six hundred AR weapon, and when he did, I survived the same amount of swings with the sword seal on as I did off. But with the sword seal on, I actually had like eighty more HP left over. So, in the span of one health bar, it's worth it. In drawn out invasions, I guess, where you filled your health bar multiple times with heals, you will have taken more damage over time, if you know what I mean. But at the same time, you get better endurance, better strength, and better dexterity. So. It's like a, if you have a free talisman slot, I'd say for the most part it is worth it, but if you want to use like the fourth one like I do to swap around, then uh, I don't like using it. Yeah, no problem. Here's the stats, man. Uh, yeah, I always have at least 40 vigor stan. Uh, when I'm at level uh, 120, 130, I'll have 60. Yeah, I I don't know. The Ashes of War are very cool, but yeah, for the most part, you just see it as most of the fight, which uh, gets a little bit on the not as engaging side, I guess is what I should say. 40 mind, yeah, that's what some of these builds are running. And yo, G-Hex, chase the wizard one day. I'll be the wizard one day. Uh, Ricardo on this character, plus 7 somber. Uh, the Incant Barrier of Gold can give you a buff that really reduces magic damage. Hmm. 
That's interesting. I will try that, Fez. Is it uh like a not a weapon one, but an actual incantation is what you're saying, right? What's your highest upgrade weapon? Thank you. I'll have to try that out. Yo, Chase, the incant barrier I love this site, can give though. you a buff that really reduces magic damage by a ton. Moonveil Ash of War does half or less of its DMG. Uh, does infinite FP plus Dragon Blast work? Yes. <laughs> yes, it does. I've seen it. Ah, it's an incantation. Okay, I might have it. I might not have it. I still have to find a few of the incantation books. I just gave a lot of them to the Turtle Pope recently. Um, okay, I can probably get up there this way, but... Excuse me. Damn. Like, usually a lot of the body buffs don't work the w that well in Souls games. Like, uh, even the damage negation rings that I've tried, like the one that boosts your physical uh, absorption, doesn't really work well in PvP, similar to Dark Souls 3. So I guess I haven't used a lot of body buffs, just based on that. Wizard? Non-wizard, okay. <laughs> Leo DiCaprio, wizard. Filthy wizard, mixed with a non-wizard. Sounds a little bit on the, the, the glitchy side. Looking a little bit laggy. That's okay. Oh, this would be a good time to try the... Uh, I've been looking for a moment to try the sword that goes through shields. This seems like that moment. Ah, can I jump back up there from there? Yeah, maybe the body buffs can be better than I thought. I'll have to test those out. Kya. Hey. Hey. My jumps are weak. Hello there. Hello. That's, uh, hmm. Pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, it doesn't go that well through shields, should I say? I did 70 damage. Do I maybe have to use the Ash of War? That probably is it, to be honest. Oh, that is not what I was expecting. That's cool. Oh, I didn't make it up. That's a really cool Ash of War. Oh, a little bit predictable though. A little bit on the easy side to dodge. That hit me. Oop. Okay. But it seems really easy to dodge that, to be honest. What else goes through shields? This, I guess we can do that. I put the giant hunt on it as well. That'll do. Oops. They're at least they're patient enough to let me just get my regen. <laughs> Only the weapon art has the 100%. Ah, okay. That's fair. I thought it was going to be everything, but that makes sense. I guess that'd be a little bit too powerful in their mind. All these rocks. Yeah. Sit down, sir. Wizard, you're getting way too aggressive. You belong in the back lines. Stay there. <laughs> oh. Dodge. This thing I have been liking a lot for shields, though. It doesn't do the second half of it. It's weird. Oh, yeah. See, 196 on a jumping heavy through the shield. Pretty good. Yeah, this, I don't think he realizes, or he does now, that his shield is not all protecting. <laughs> Especially against this weapon. Huh, you'd think you'd use the other half of that. Oh, I keep thinking that he's going to do a slam down, like, behind me. But he's not. I think he knows it exists. Ah, that's sad. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't, dude. I'm thinking at this point he might not know there's another half to that attack. <laughs> ah, the hitbox on that breaks my heart. Um, uh, what can we do that's kind of fun? Oh, you know what I want to see? I put Giant Hunt on this, actually. Let's see how good it roll catches. <laughs> well! The answer? Pretty damn well! <laughs> I think better than the the big weapons. Like the stun is perfect for you to just use it instantly. Okay. 
I'd say pretty good. It's like a, a perfect roll catch if they spam roll. Huh. Okay. Yo, Rowan. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to try. Oh, I could have used the Magma Whip right there as like a test. I'll, I'll definitely use it for you though. That's interesting. Giant hunt. Let's see, what's this do? Okay. Running R2, maybe? Let's see, rolling attack? So I can crouch and do that. Is that faster than the regular R1? A little bit. Can I hold this? <laughs> okay. Well, that's... That's interesting. Um, that's different. Yeah, hold the L2, yeah. I just noticed that. That's funny. That's really weird. You walk with it? I wonder how much damage that actually does. Yeah, I'm gonna try it out. Let's see how it does. Ah, uh, no, we're not. Well, maybe. Ah, it's just a viewer. <laughs> Boys, it's too early in the game to be stream snipe dueling. <laughs> we want ganks. Not honest lone hosts, but all right, I'll try you with a with the halberd now that I like the the giant hunt. Let's do it. What do you got in your hand? One handing that though. G hex, thank you, man. So satisfying when you land it. Yeah, it is actually really good. Uh, I don't think so. Well, when you die to an invader, you just lose a little bit of HP. That's it. So it's like, it's not a huge deal, to be honest. Fun fight, though, White Mask. This is the Vulgar Militia Saw. Um, my playtime. I can see that on Steam, I think, correct? I'll have to look for you. I'm not really sure, to be honest. Hang on, I could look while I look for an invasion. I'm assuming, honestly, not, not too much. Let's see. I have 270 hours so far. Uh, whip. That's right, you wanted to see the whip. Man has two weeks of playtime. No, no. <laughs> Imagine. No. I've only actually been playing like four hours-ish every stream. Kind of like what I did with the S3. Not too much. It's been a month. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> That's not that much. See, look, Raddy has 400 over here. <laughs> That's not too bad. Actually, if we're going to use lava, let's go look at the, the volcano. Yeah, exactly. See, 270 is not the highest. Boop. 200 gang. Yeah, 200 is like, I would say, probably uh, most people... <laughs> I've been like playing this pretty dedicatedly. It really, I think it depends also how much time you uh, put into your first playthrough. I think mine was like 60 to 70 hours. And then since then it's been PvP, but. Oh, it's just a habit to spam the fingers since Dark Souls 3. Hey boys, Jossen? Oh look, I have weapons of the, the things that are also here. Wait, let's try. Do you think this will really... Okay, wait. How long range do you think the lightning is in this game? Pretty long range, I guess, eh? Dodge. Oh boy, a wizard. Not a rooftop wizard battle. Oh god. Get out of the way. <laughs> there's, there's three of them coming at me. What? Okay, I guess that has a range more than I think. You dare throw? 
Okay, now I'm part of the casting wars. Ow, we hit each other. Dodged. The other guy fell off. Okay, we're gonna get in there, I think. Oh, shit! Hang on. Oh, yeah! Calculated! <laughs> exactly where I wanted to land, and on purpose, too. <laughs> Not lucky at all. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh man, that was good. Parkour! <laughs> Parkour, indeed. Yo, wine stained feathers. Thank you so much, man. Uh, I've just been reallocating my character, to be honest. It's not too hard. I went on a low level character, beat the game, gathered everything, and then now I just reallocate him. Aww, dude. I just realized I had this too. I see they still haven't fully fixed the connection issues, huh? That's annoying. My calculated fall. Damn it. Thank you though, Weinstein. I have 12 on my playthrough. Uh, so minimum 12. You can find more, I'm told. There's like 18 or something. Long time lurker. Glad to see you're enjoying the Beastling game with uh, like Hone Bolt pretty much has How its casting time. So wow. Yeah, there's uh there's a, a few there's the talisman that Chase lowers your uh, Ash of uh, Ash of War and uh, cast time for spells, its right? Casting time? It's nutty. I haven't done all the endings. I have the Ronnie ending so far, Christ. That's it. Um, okay, let's try more of the golden sword. Thank you, Jack. Yeah, it is pretty crazy that you can up a lot of the cast speeds in this game. Yo, Mateus, thank you so much, man. Much love as well. Um, roof battle? Wow, they're by the fog wall? Damn. Okay, it spawned me very far away. Uh, the tree spear? I've used that a lot on my dex faith, or my strength faith build. Uh, I haven't used it a lot today. I could, but it's just because I've already used it in like a, a build showcase that I haven't been using it that much. I'm trying out some of these like weirder weapons. Like this gold sword. Yeah, there, there's going to be a lot of balancing. I know I know a lot of people are annoyed with some of the Ashes of War that people use that like almost one shot. And yeah, it's going to keep getting more and more balanced over time. It's got to give it time. Any weapons you want to see buffed? Mm, I guess the ones that want, I need, I think should be toned down, stick out more. Um, A lot of what... I think if you tone down the very, very overpowered ones, then the other ones will be able to shine a little bit. Any weapons you want to see buffed for me? It would be the faith-based guard. I know weapons. Sigma. It they is need man. Some different ashes of war. Yeah, some of the locked-in ashes of war are pretty bad. I agree as well. Glory. Oh, oof. we gotta go this way. Hello there. Hello. Hello. I'm gonna do my TikTok dance first. I don't know what that does at all. That's scary. Parkour! Imagine not TikTok dancing with me. That's just rude. <laughs> rude and inconsiderate. Ah! Oh, <laughs> I think the roof kind of ruined it a little bit. Jumping attack! Dodged. Dodge. <laughs> I want to do that more though. I'll come back up. My TikTok dance. I'm coming. Don't worry, I'm coming back up there. Don't worry. How dare they? Such a journey around these roofs. Kya. Kya. What? Oh wait, was that an invader maybe? I hope it wasn't the sun bro. Oh, it was the sun bro. Why did the sun bro return home? Oh boy. Calculated. <laughs> My guy didn't jump as forward as I thought he was going to right there. <laughs> Parkour! Ah! The sword of noob and flame. Taste my flames. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. That's gonna be a tough time. Hey, come this way. It's less dangerous near me, I promise. 
<laughs> oh no, he's sacrificing me. <laughs> Get whipped. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Use the dragon flame arts. You was get him. Get him with it. Get him with it. <laughs> Aw. Glory, you're no fun. You're no fun, Glory. Oh, sorry, dude. Ow. Can't tell if that was accidental or on purpose. I've been hitting him, so. Ooh. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Oh no, Mr. Red, it's okay. Not all of us can be good at parkour, that's fair. Um try the cipher pizza. Hua! Hua! Parkour. It's in my blood. Where are we going, Mr. Marshmallow? Where are we going? Where are we going? Dodge! Get down there. Different part of the roof. These things make interesting sounds. <laughs> oh, good job, Mr. Red. <laughs> pew pew. Pew pew. I do love this level, actually. It's really fun. The Wolverine, but holy. Yes. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, what about near the castle? Yeah, I like going... We haven't really invaded in that castle at all. The laser blast sounds. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew. They're pretty addicting. Um... Trying to think of other ones. This the, I really wish this thing had a better Ash of War. It's such a cool-looking greatsword, but... It's extremely slow. And then even the follow-up. Definitely slow. Uh, no, that, that's going to be on my dexterity faith build. It mostly scales off dex uh, dialect. I was going to put it on this build, but yeah, it's scaling on faith is like a D versus it's dex C scaling. So I'm going to put it more on my dexterity focus faith build. Oh yeah, the Godskin Stitch was good. It's very good. Yeah, maybe you can use it as like an AoE. That's true. That could be something. Hello, boys. Jumping heavy. Backstab? Yo, I'm getting a lot better at the Elden Ring backstabs. I really am. Immune! <laughs> Immune! <laughs> The eye frames. <laughs> I don't know what that does, but that scares me. We're going to get to the point where I can just backstab when I want to backstab. Oh god, rats in my way. Scary. Aha. Oh yeah, it's... Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling it. <laughs> it's all coming together. <laughs> Alright. Is that a rune arc? <laughs> you just pop a rune arc mid-fight? I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> That's new. Bah! Okay, that guy's really, like, laggy. Dodge. It's hard to, like, predict where he's gonna go. Smash! I've gained the power! Sir, I'm gonna need you to stop. Why are you running? Toru, what's going on here? Aha! Smack! Smack! Get baited. And now you can't heal! Oh, my dear. Now you're, you're just gonna have to either A, fight me, 
Or I'm gonna hit you with lightning. <laughs> oh, you saved his life. Oh, what a good son, bro. He actually saved him right there. Um. What's the plan, sir? <laughs> Aha, more dragon breath, is it? Oh, this whole time I thought I was somewhere else. I know where I am now, though. I was a little bit lost. He's starting to believe. <laughs> okay, let's uh, just make sure we're on the safe side here. Oh, yeah. He's still like, oh, I'm getting hit by that shit. <laughs> Forgot that that had a, that kind of range. Okay. Now we're good. Get some good regen going here. Toru! Flame of Red Mane! Bap. Oh, I didn't hit him. At least that dragon spell isn't quite as powerful as all the rest. Oh, he also has regen. I see, I see. Maybe the scythe again, though. Scythe works pretty well. Dodge! You think I can't dodge lightning? Please. Sir. This guy's more like... He just runs near me. He doesn't even attack. <laughs> He's only running at me. You're missing the attack part of the combo, sir. Yeah, there's an attack. <laughs> now, when when we both miss like that, well, there's a problem. <laughs> I don't know how the hell both of us missed that. That was just weird. <laughs> Mr. Great Hammerman. Interesting. A weird spell? Nah, oh, it's too late. This guy loves his bestial sling, huh? Oh. We escaped that. There we go. What did he just... Starlight roots? Oh, the star shards? Oh, okay. He wants more FP spam. The earlier amount wasn't enough for him. He wants more. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. We'll take care of Sir Runs Away a lot. I don't want to kill the host yet. So we're just going to get rid of his uh, FP boy. Oak. <laughs> Almost a poke. And a poke. <laughs> this is getting really funny, honestly. He's a survivor. What if I start poking him instead? Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, dude. More dragon breath? Yeah. I figured that's what he wanted the starlight shards for. Oh my god. I'm clean with it today. I don't know why, but I am. <laughs> I'm so clean with it. <laughs> That's really strange. Hi there. Oh, I wanted to get him with it. What are we doing over there? What, is he, what are these guys crushing? Crushing some suspicious stuff and some things. Uh, I'm sad that stuns. That's very unfortunate. Oh, this isn't in order? That's weird. Another starlight shard? They're gonna use 10, like, dupe starlight shards to fight me? That's hilarious. <laughs> okay. Start using more of the environment if that's all you're gonna do. 
Hey there. Oh, madness sniper in the back. Woo! Oh. As if that hit me mid roll and also madness me while I was mid roll. That was so strange. Well, I guess two can play at that game. I got some of these too. That's what you want, son, bro. That's what you get. Hello. Hey there. Hey. I can play your game too, Mr. Sunbro. I've come prepared, wizard. Whoop. Foolish little Sunbro. Where are you running, Sunbro? Where are you running? <gasps> come here. There's things to be done to you. Okay, I might kill Clara though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lightning strikes times 1,000. We got it. We got it. We get you. We get you. Whee! Oh, what the fuck? Oh, he disconnected. Oh! Whee! <laughs> he disconnected, like, in the middle of the attack. That's so weird. Hey, Toru. Come on, Toru. Why you? Why are we still running? Why are we still running? None of those are hitting me. You know, you could just like use your sword instead of your FP. It would be fine. I promise you. This is an FP souls the game, <laughs> Toru. It's okay. It's okay. Another one. You're going to use all 10, huh? All right, I guess. I mean, all right. Sure. <laughs> I can see this becoming the norm later in like g set up ganks. Like they're just going to like use a lot of FP. I, I really think the starlight shards were a mistake. I'm going to throw that out there. Heavy mistake for sure. People are just going to abuse that and they're like have all of them duped and just be constantly FP spamming. <laughs> That's going to become the norm for sure. Hello. I mean, see, the, the issue with that is, like, I can do it too. And then I have regen. So if we're going to play that game, I mean, all right, we'll play that game. Whoop, now I have double regen going, and kind of like an endless source of it. Toru, run, you're alone, run, Toru, run! Run! <laughs> Can't be alone for too long. Spring rolls, hello! What up, spring rolls? How goes it? Yeah, they can't be farmed. Yeah. We're gonna iframe that. <laughs> One hour invasion coming, for sure. Definitely. Oh. Oh boy. Yeah, they can be duped though, yeah, exactly. That was the reason that like I, I said it was a mistake. <laughs> and when you fight teams that do it, well. It just becomes this long starlight shard spam. And then you get like constant. Oh, why does. The, is that the same blue? And then you get. It's like this phantom right here. This is the, what the phantom's been doing to use that constantly. It's like it's his only move though. You think he would have did something else? He hasn't. <laughs> Any more AoE spam coming my way?
<laughs> the hammer bro is kind of funny. One. Although I don't, I don't know if how many heals he has, Sir Toru over there. He doesn't seem to have many like actual like health heals. He's just all about the constant FP use throughout this like 20 minute invasion. <laughs> I know. Oh well. That's fine. We'll win in the end. We just have to play the slow game. Another one. There's his like sixth one. was a bad connection. Whoop. Sorry, bad connection I meant that I didn't expect that to connect to me. Ooh. Okay. I'm trying to think of maybe a better weapon that we can do like burst damage with. Because the longer this goes, the more of that I have to deal with. Mm, let me think. Maybe we use the claymore, honestly. I mean, I can just do this randomly. They don't seem to know how to dodge that. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. Since he's using the exact same spell on me. Oh god. Didn't expect that wall to be there. The amount of that they can do though is crazy. <laughs> oh my god. This is gonna be a long one I can tell. Alright then. What are you clapping at? Your phantom did it first. <laughs> His entire fighting strategy has been that. I think I've only been chip damaged by those rocks the entire time. And a few times the Scarlet Rot. Hey, you've used more than me. I've got more power in my back here. Another blue. <laughs> Another blue, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we can lure the blue, though. This would be like easy Estus farm. He seems to be going away from the host. This is nice. Hey, Gummy. I'm not sure why you're doing it, but thank you. Oh, what the fuck? As Estes back. Thank you, Mr. Blue. I appreciate you. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Bye, Gummy. Toru, come back. We've been fighting for 20 minutes. Don't you want this to end? Honestly. I do. I think we got that free Estus back. What? <laughs> I 
<laughs> How much heals can Toru objectively have here? I'm like wondering at this point, because we've been hitting him quite a lot. He's been getting pretty low. Is there any like items that you can use to regen infinitely? Maybe that's the case. Because he's been like stacking. He's back there like hiding. I don't know what he's doing. There you go, boys. There you go. Much skill involved in that team. <laughs> Jesus. They took, like, using Ashes of War to a whole new level, dude. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, they definitely need to fix some of that shit. That was a point down, dude. That's honestly more disappointment. Like, I really didn't think people would be duping those already. Like, man, it's just... The Ash of War spam's already strong. You don't need infinite. <laughs> oh, yeah, I heard about that as well. I hope they patched that also. Um, well, I mean, Ash of War are fine. It's just, like the amount you can use them, like some of the FP, cost is very generous. Ooh, let's try, okay, there we go. We got Jetzel. Maidenless behavior. <laughs> yeah, safe guy just ran away and used his infinite FP. Definitely wouldn't say he was carrying the host at all, but he was spamming those starlight shards for sure. <laughs> Oh wait, I just realized I'm in a different station. Hello there! Kronos! Hello, boys! Hello. Let's use the scythe here. Hey! Boys? Kronos? Jetzel? Guys? Come back! Baby, come back! I wanna- Oh, that's the startup for the backstab. Okay. I was wondering earlier, oh god, why it looks so strange when you go to backstab with a scythe. Just figured it out right now. They have like that different grab, right? So. What's that dude? Oh, it's like a fire whip. <laughs> I don't know. I have to be in a mood to point down, to be honest. I don't even know where it is on my gesture bar. I'm lazy. That's like the number one reason. Have you tried your lance and post the lead? I can trigger bleed twice in one combo. Oh yeah, for sure. Do wielding some of the staff proc weapons is so strong. <laughs> A good example of why you shouldn't fat roll. This is the, the tutorial reason right here. <laughs> okay. That was just me memeing a little bit. I'm sorry, Mr. Wizard. I do apologize. Although you have a moon veil, and somehow I failed to notice that earlier, so. Smack! We dodge the moon veils. The moon veils get dodged in this house. Indeed. <laughs> we dodge your spell balls as well. Spell dodge. Whoop! Okay. Here's my long range back at you, boys. Wait, is it? Will it reach the host? No, the sun bro literally is body blocking. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, that's why he's fat rolling, because he can do a lot of moon veil strikes. He moon veils through the fire. He doesn't care. No cares in the world for him. The danger of getting hit by one moon veil, though. Pretty high. Hey there. Ah, oh, I'm out of FP. Hang on a second here. The lava whip. Yeah, you're right. Good call. I can try the lava whip. What's behind me? Oh, God. Stairs. 
Haha, <laughs> he blasted me out of it. <laughs> Not the lava whip. <laughs> He's blasting me out of it. No. <laughs> so sad. Okay, we'll stop moving around, I guess. We're getting hit by the moon veil a little bit too much. Let's go with... The scythe has been pretty good to me for the, the blocking of Estus. Bad trade. <laughs> that is so anime, though. Jeez, I love it. <laughs> Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Fun fight, Justin. Kya. And uh, Kajeti, thank you so much, man. I think it is Fippy. There's been occasions where some people have rolled out of it. Um. It might have been their poison mount, or it could have been like an off-leveled floor, like an uneven surface. I'm not sure, but for the most part, it seems like it is a combo. I was trying to farm to get it, Drew, but those damn lizards did not drop it for me, so I'm going to have to wait till I get it. Stupid lizards. This thing's pretty cool, though. I think it's just straight up called the Magma Whip, Chris. I'll grab it for you, but... Uh, it is... Yeah, the Magma Whip. <laughs> I guess it's a pretty straightforward name for the weapon. Yo, this with the giant hunt, though. I'm liking it. And I feel like most builds have lower sacred... Or, sorry, holy absorption than they would to, like, fire or magic. I'm a faith build, and I still don't have that much. So I feel like that's why some of these have been hitting pretty hard. Uh, no, I haven't managed to get the chest piece yet, Spiral. I'm missing that one, like the, the caped Vanished Knight. I only have this one, because it, it dropped for me first try on the one in the Dragon Communion area. But then I tried to get the cape one, and it's been, it's been tough. Hello there, boys. Hello. Edon, Vaughn, Erymum. Oh, isn't that the infinite FP juice? Shouldn't you be casting? Why would you drink that and then hey. <laughs> not cast at me? Too honest! Too honest! <laughs> oh. You wasted it! You wasted your free heal opportunity. Sorry, not even a heal. Whew. You could have been chucking those. Or maybe that wasn't the infinite one that I thought it was. Possibly, I guess. Oh, I think that jump was better than a regular dodge right there. Woo, woo, woo. I don't know the range on that, but kind of scary. Okay, there's a lot of rocks here impeding my movement. Let's go with the powered up giant hunt. Yes. A lot of little rocks blocking me. Hey there. What are we doing? What's the tactic here? Looking for flat ground? He's got that moon veil already. <laughs> Woo! Hmm. Oh, I don't know what the blue glow is. That's what I've been wondering, I guess. I guess that's not his, uh, his FP flask. So we got Sir Jumping Attacks a lot, and Sir Moon Veils a lot. I'm good. 
getting hit by that. <laughs> but that's fine. It was a good trade. I did a thousand damage. I don't know how much he did, but it wasn't that. Moonvale! Oh, he's out of Moonvale juice! Oh, did that still do that much damage? <laughs> did you guys see that? Good enough FP, but his Moonvale Slash still did like a third of my health. Man, I really can't get hit by that guy's Moonvale. That was crazy. Hey. <laughs> Surprise backstab. Woo! I got stuck on his body. Okay. Hey there. There we go. Got the wizard out of the way. Smack! Nice. I'm getting pretty clean with the backstabs. Oh, that's close. What else can we use here? We can try the... We can try the code one, I guess. Tick tock. Oh, that actually would have hit him. <laughs> what? I'm using it like a, like it's an ultra. Oh! Whoa! Flame! Grant me flame! <laughs> Grant me flame. <laughs> oh, I missed that one. Oh. Not that one, though. One. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I had a stam here. That's a, that's a pain. Jeez, how many Estus you got? Oh, he gave up right there. Okay. <laughs> Alright, GG. <laughs> All right, the crit talisman. Maybe we've been we've been landing a lot of backstabs today, dude. Honestly, I'm surprised. That's not normal. <laughs> it's been it's been getting better, man. What form of priest am I? Mostly a sword priest with a little bit of regen. I've tried the dragon bolt or the hone bolt at it a little bit. It's been working okay. Um, I haven't tried dragon bolt blessing yet. Maybe we'll give that a shot. Have you ever tried backstabbing? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> there we go, right there. And that invasion. We tested it a bit. Yo, hells. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, I never really got to dabble in Bloodborne PvP. Anybody have any good things to say about it? I've heard it was okay. Out of all the Souls games, I don't know. That I one is the one I didn't PvP, dabble in. But seeing everyone being passive, one trick ponies um, makes oops. me prefer Bloodborne PvP, where aggression is encouraged. Uh, because of the heal mechanic, right? Where you heal if you get hit. Terrible. I just, I, I feel like the gun parrying system, I didn't like. Dragon Bolt's Blessing needs an uninfused weapon. It's for your body, though. Look, it's a body buff. It's not really a, a weapon buff.
Was it lacking variety a little bit? Ah, okay. Did you see a lot of the same builds? That's like, yeah, I guess towards the end of a lot of the Soul series, everybody kind of uses what's meta, but the beginning of them is pretty damn awesome. Get a lot of fun battles going on, I would say. Try Altus Highway. Oh, Vike's Blessing. What does Vike's Blessing do? I haven't actually used that yet. Oh, did Steam also just take like a dive? No, we're good. Okay. Oh, it might be the... Pl oh, yeah, there's the flasks that boost your magic. I forget about that. There's so many Physic flasks. <laughs> it's hard to tell which one someone's drinking. Oh. What the? Oh, they just killed somebody over there. Okay. I could try this. I really don't know what it does. If I'm being honest. I, uh... Now my, le my body is lightninged. That's what I think of your rivers of blood. <laughs> A nice claymore R2 for you. Why are you crouched? What is the lore here to the crouching of the, the double sights? I can I can dabble with you though. I'm down for some double sight action. <laughs> that hurt. Um Nice, I got it too. Hey. Hey, wait, why didn't why wasn't I able to Oh I have the wrong one attached. <laughs> Oops. I was like, yo, what happened to my jump? <laughs> like, yo, I can't jump in L2. What's going on? Yo, we have a stage hazard here. An honest stage hazard. Dodge. Oh, oh, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Alright, GG Billy Bob. GG Ben. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> My bad. I kept grabbing the militia saw. Doing st duels? Oh, strong. Doing duels. They're pretty popular. Are they? I've seen no streamers really doing them. To be honest, the game at the moment isn't balanced good enough for duels. If I was to try to make like a sweaty tryhard duel build, I would just use seppuku on two weapons and combo everyone in one combo. It's not... I don't think the game's balanced state is good for duels right now temple personally they need to patch a lot of stuff they need to balance shield poke on some of the shields that give them infinite stamina while shield poking uh bleed with seppuku is far too strong um, let me try to think of other ones just off the top of my head just uh, those two alone though are what you're gonna see the most like great shield poke is, is so strong to do it you have to bring it out yourself and then you know you can have your bleed through it with the double seppuku there's just there's a lot of things that are uh, would be abused constantly because they are one of the best setups, right? So, at least in invasions, you'll see variety, and you're not always gonna, you know, find an invader constantly doing that. It's really no fun. So, that's why invasions are far better right now. Even from all the streamers that love duels, like their main thing was duels, uh, they've been telling me they don't like it either. Um. Yeah, I keep a stat proc weapon specifically to fight, like, the fingerprint shield. <laughs> I've been using seppuku and bloodhound stuff, yeah. I mean, it's fair when that's what you're going to fight, you know, in the organized duels, but, like, it, the balance is just in a really bad state. So, they definitely need to fix that. I think if they balance something, next patch, bleed, for sure. For sure. And I'm someone who used a couple bleed builds, you know? Yeah. Better than 3v1s. I mean, I don't know. I, I've always enjoyed being outnumbered in fights, I guess. It's just something that I've grown used to since Dark Souls 3. But yeah, for people that are just getting into invasions, man, it, it's harder than Dark Souls 3 was. I'm going to be straight up. It's it's a lot harder. Hello there, Shepard. Hello there, Scythe Man. Hello there. <laughs> there is a, a lot of Rivers of Blood and Moonvale. That is true. And some of that. Oh, 
looks at least a little bit different. I thought he was about to cast Stars of Ruin, to be honest. That would have been at least a little bit. I guess. Get my regen going on here. Hey, boys. Don't worry about me. Don't worry. I'm a faith build. Let me faith a little bit. I still... This is supposed to make a lot of weapons bounce off you that are, like, lighter weapons. So I'm intrigued to see how that does. Hit me with your straight sword, sir. That's not a light weapon. <laughs> that's a big weapon. <laughs> that's a very big weapon, and that's a moon veil. <laughs> hey, you guys were speaking about that earlier, right? Man, I just have the backstabs down today. Man, first day I streamed this, every backstab missed. Today, everyone's landed. Ow, <laughs> wizard damage. <laughs> wizard damage. Ow. Wizard, stop it. <laughs> I will smite you. <laughs> Come here, wizard. Wait, what is our best? Do I have an anti-wizard tool on me right now? I'm trying to think if we can meme a little bit. Twin blade. This. The lightning. Yeah, the lightning for sure. The lightning is definitely the way to go here. Every time we cast, we'll just try to take a trade and see if it works. These are mostly for tests. See how reaction times work based on like... Yeah, so you can punish a lot of casts with that. That is a slower cast, to be honest. And this guy keeps like panic dodging, so... That was an interesting one. I'm gonna cast this to hit his heal. There we go. Fun fight, Shepard. Yes, I, I do quite enjoy some of these Faith Ashes of War. I do. <laughs> I do indeed. And uh, John of Furry, planning to bring the Weapon Showcase series? I am. I was hopefully, I'm gonna, I'm trying to wait until they have like a DLC announced, maybe, depending on like how I'm feeling on like videos by then. Uh, I do prefer using the, the showcase is for the weapons in the arena though, yeah. You got it. I'm hoping they, they have a DLC. Yeah, Thunderbolt's really good against long-range casters. I've noticed that. It's been quite helpful. I drink in 1v1L? That, uh, where did you see 1v1? That was a 2v1, homie. <laughs> you think after I kill the Phantom, it becomes Honor 1v1? <laughs> what? <laughs> the brain on these guys. You killed my Phantom. Now we have an Honor fight. <laughs> yes. That's how it works. <laughs> I'm dead, dude. What? What even? Our gank failed. Now how about how about we call a truce and we honor fight? <laughs> Just, no. The fuck? <laughs> I'm actually dead at that. That's the funniest thing I've read today. <laughs> oh man. What do we got here? We got Sorceress S. Oh god, wizards. <laughs> Maidenless behavior. <laughs> yeah, imagine you're fighting a 1v3, you kill both the phantoms, then the host is just angry because you healed after that. <laughs> Amazing. But even, yo, even if you guys invade someone alone, the host will still have more HP than you, can use his rune arcs. They have heavy advantages. You don't have to honor fight them. I mean, I do it. Just because I've kind of always done it. I shouldn't though, because like they have a heavy advantage anyway. It's an invasion. You're invading their world, you know, like I don't I don't expect them to not heal, so. You dare hit me with your katana? Oh man, that has really good range, Mr. Quem. Yo, let me let me add to the aesthetic here. You think you're safe? <laughs> I'm a wizard too! <laughs> That's right. I dabble in the wizardry. <laughs> That's for you. Oh boy. Woo! This is a pretty anarchy. Stop it! <laughs> Stop bullying that poor boss. That's right, I drink blue Estus in your face. <laughs> the chattest of plays. 
Oh. Oh, did he actually activate my heal, Estes? He did. Goodbye, Quinn. Yeah, well, they just don't... I, I Again, Triception, that's not I'm doing more damage. I feel like a lot of people that are new to the Souls game need to look at the numbers of what I'm hitting them for. That guy had 500 HP, okay? So when I hit him for an AR of a weapon that has 500 and it does around 300 to him, it's going to look like <laughs> more than half his health. But that's because he chose to not level this very important stat at the top of the stat bar right there. You see the vigor? You want to you wanna level that. That's important. <laughs> that's important. They just choose to have 40 mind and like 50 intelligence. They want to just spam their wizardry. Probably because he's using magic as his cast. You know, he's, his main damage output is his casts. The guy with the moon veil did more than half my HP. If you, re you go look at the VOD right there, when that hit me, he, ch he would have killed me had I not been uh, using that physic that heals me when I'm low health. That summon's moon veil did pretty ridiculous damage. Dual daggers. There we go. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Yo, Chase, Yo Raddy, thank you so much. Remember, Dual daggers? We can definitely gold, try those. Which is found at gold Godfrey's grace and going downstairs. Woo! Hang on, let me just get by here so I can read that. Um, remember there's still a barrier of gold in Godfrey's grace and going down the stairs. The one that you unlock with the, the stone key? Yeah, like, when you see me fight, there's tanky phantoms. I feel like all people always comment that some people do low damage, but they never comment on the guys doing ridiculously high damage. Like, that's 380. Hmm, 380, 3, 6, 9, 2. That guy has, like, around 1300 HP. I have 16. This guy's okay on health, but he is fat rolling. So... That might hurt. There you go. Was that little bits of damage for you? Did he do a little bit of damage to you? No, 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 no. He did half my HP. <laughs> there you go. It just depends on how the person builds their character. Hello, Blue. Hello there. I'm, I'm a little bit hesitant about the blue, though. <laughs> That's the buffed MLG, yes. Hello. See, I'm a uh, You think the blue's gonna stay there and be chill? Woo! Woo! <laughs> He's not. He was thinking about it. But then he opted to jump in. Okay, okay. Let's see. What can we do in this situation? What do you have? The triple... The triple wizard pews. Okay, let's get this going. Woo! One big sword left. Oh, wait, his damage. Okay, he's also doing the 20% damage buff. Hey, they both have the moonlight greatsword. Some Ronnie stands. Hey, I also followed the waifu Ronnie teachings throughout my playthrough, so. I think I can't aim it elsewhere. Oh, Rivers of Blood over there. Okay. Oh, well, we gotta watch out for that. That's for sure. Um, let's see. The blue's kind of squishy. If I could just get in and get out against the blue, we'd be we'd be chilling. He will hit very hard though because he he is a squishy wizard. That guy cast it up three times, four times, five times. He's still going. <laughs> He's still going over there. All right. All right. <laughs> hey, Dalian. The alien. That was almost a good uh, attempt at like a backspin. Okay. We'll get the one hard hitting wizard out of the way. Then we have the other one who still is hard hitting. This guy's got dual katanas. Let's try to make it so the sun grows a little bit on the squishier side, and I can uh, output some high damage with a giant hunt. Yeah. 
perfect moment. Okay, not perfect moment. I <laughs> uh, was staying low health on purpose. The sun bro wanted to bait me. Jesus, that does like half my health. Alright, we gotta watch out for that. That's for sure. Okay, if this guy gets aggressive enough. Ah, oh, he didn't get aggressive enough. Unfortunado. Hey, big. Thank you so much, man. Hello, Ryland? Thank you, man. Hello. How are you? If we can be alone with the bleed guy, we'd have kind of an easy time. Yeah. He's gonna come in when I'm like about like a third of health because his slash can really tear me up a new one. You know, it's funny, they actually nerfed that Ash of War, but it still does pretty immense damage. <laughs> yeah, okay. He's almost in kill range. I just gotta get him away from the host for like a millisecond. This might be it. That's all I needed. Bap! Oh, the twin blade. Use it. Use it or lose it. Fun fight. GG boys. Honestly, they had good teamwork though. They did pretty good damage. <laughs> uh, I appreciate that, Pablo. Hope you're doing well, man. Uh, let's try this way. We'll go back into the Leandell city. Yeah, honestly, Giant Hunt works pretty damn good, dude. Uh, I, I don't know the limits of like what weapons you can put that on though. Uh, thank you, old man. I try to keep it kind of interesting. You know, some people like the one type of sword play, but... I don't know, I like changing up my weapon, I guess. Yeah, I gotta learn what all the perfumes do. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, you'll find a lot. There's like a balance. You know, if you have like a team and you have a dedicated wizard that has constant FP use, I mean, yeah, they'll have lower health. Uh, do I, yeah, I talked about the sore seals. Um, I've used them on a few of my builds that needed the stats. If you can manage without them, it's useful. Like if you can get 40 vigor and the stats you want without it, I would say you don't need it. But if you're missing the stats, it doesn't hurt that much since it gives you HP. Love the content. What's a poised sweet spot? All lighter armor seems quite useless. Poised sweet spot. I like 67. It can tank one hit for most light weapons. Uh, and between 67, there's only like a, two other breakpoints until like 100 and something for halberds. So I feel like 67 is a nice in between. Uh, well, the people I've decided meta for duels is 125. Uh, I don't know, a lot of other people like higher levels, but the higher level you go, the more FP spam you're going to get, and the more poise stacking you're going to get. The PvP balance, I think, is better between 90 to 130. That's why most people are saying, like, advocating on the higher end of meta only being 120 to 130. Like, the damage in this game is too high. I feel like the people that are just, like, wanting higher and higher levels of PvP don't understand how high the damage output is in this game. Did you see what that guy's bloody slash was doing to me at 90? Now, at 150, 
it just compounds, man. The damage is just too high. 120 is perfectly fine. 120 is perfectly fine. So we got a shield here. I'm not recording yet. Hold up. Let me hit the record button, homie. I'm going to need you to get off my butt while I hit record. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Let's go this way. All right, so we got... Will that go through your shields? To some degree, it does. Oh, so yeah, every time I try to dodge with a jump, the iframes... I don't even know how good the iframes are on a jump, to be honest. Let's try backstab. Oh, okay! I feel like... Yeah, since the network test, they made backstabs a lot better, to be honest. You're able to grab them pretty easily. Okay, and then we have Nuan with his Radon cosplay. Hello. Hello, Mr. Radon. Um, you have an Ultra? I don't have an Ultra on this build, but I can try this meme weapon with you. It's not the best, but we can give it an attempt. <laughs> okay, so that has like a really slow AoE, I guess. I don't really see a use for it yet. I've been trying. The, the, the follow-up might be okay as like a wake up to like a backstab or if you can pull it off in front of someone's face I don't know if anybody has really seen that slash yeah it doesn't work that well Woo! Ah, oh my god that was so risky <laughs> oh big damage right there that's pretty cool so yeah, some of these weapons, like we're just trying out all the Faith ones, and some of them do not have the best Ash of War. The Scythe one though, Scythe one's been pretty positive, I would say. Comes out pretty quick. You get a good combo out of it. It punishes Estus, and it's I guess it's a true combo for the most part. Oh, he had the poise to tank it though, but we still traded in the end. Oh, oh, I thought my game crashed for a second. Yeah, honestly, the PvP damage needs to be lowered across the board, for sure. But the issue with, like, 125 level versus 150 is the only difference between 125 and 150 is everybody's going to put more stats into their damage output. That's it. You can't have more than 60 Vigor. It's soft caps. You get very diminishing returns. So where are you going to invest those extra 25 levels, you know? It's going to be damage. And that just makes the damage to health ratio... So much worse than it already is. It's just... It's too high. You can ask any like streamer who's been playing this since like the release. It's just... It's too high. Um, The poise can be... I mean, it's really whatever you like. You can look at the poise. I think there's a poise breakpoint chart somewhere that I remember looking at. And yeah, you can pick your favorite. Also, yeah, there's, there's so many broken things, man. You can't take it too seriously at the moment. There's carrying retaliation. You can get one combo bleed by seppuku's weapons. There's like, there's so much that they need to balance first before anybody really takes this seriously. I've even, yeah, I've heard people say that like 120 still feels like very, very squishy. So it's, it's too much. And you're just going to find so many people just using that glitch right now, which sucks. People really just focus on the broken stuff, which is sad. But at least it gets patched. The death thing got patched pretty quick. Um, hopefully they patch the carry and retaliation damage. And it also desyncs. That's another annoying thing about it, right? So you can't see it. That's annoying as hell. There we go. Well, the meta isn't decided on like what players you're going to run into. It's, it's decided on what's balanced levels for PvP. That's really it, man. No one really cares. Invasions are randomized. I feel like people get this strange idea that you're supposed to only invade set up gankers. And like that's not even the purpose of an invasion. We, we do that all the time. But in what world do people think it's balanced to have three dudes waiting for one dude in a 3v1? <laughs> like what? I feel like that's a lot of new players that don't understand like... There's no skill-based matchmaking. This game is random. Invasions are random. 
It's not like an esports game. You just have fun with it. When you take it too seriously, you get too angry at it. Like, just have fun with it. Invade where you want to invade. Gank if you want to gank. But at the end of the day, it's a game. Woo! Whoa, I wasn't even looking. <laughs> GG. <laughs> you see, that'll happen. <laughs> That's actually amazing. I'm so sad I was, like, talking during that. I didn't even see these guys. Yeah, it's the random. That was the perfect time during my sentence to do that, by the way. Thank you. My point proven. My point so proven. <laughs> I did not... I wasn't really looking at my monitor, so I didn't even see where they were. Where did they jump at me from? I'll have to look back at that on the stream. That was funny. This is why it's perfect. Exactly. Oh! Oh yeah, I'm not in the invasion anymore. <laughs> yeah, you can have things like that happen, you know? Like, there's nothing you could have did. Like, in hindsight, I could have been paying attention, so that would have helped me. I wasn't really paying attention at all, but... Come here, little lizard man. Oh, you're not even the one that I want to farm. I want the lava one. Thank you. There we go. Oh! Caveman go bonk. I wish I was paying attention and I would have saw that because that could have been a really cool fight. I don't see cosplay outfits much. Faith. Pure faith. Well, I'm trying my best at pure faith anyway. Yeah, no problem, BA. Also, hang on a second. Uh, Bob, thank you so much, man. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Halo site? It's, it's decent. I'm not going to lie and say it's the best. Um... But it's been useful. I have been using it for the long range Ash of War. I do do wield it with this site. It's pretty damn useful. Oh, true. I see a few Radons. Okay, you're right, Spiral. You're right. Oh. Oh. I wonder if this works, actually. If this even makes invasions faster at all. I kind of doubt it. Maybe I'll just leave it when I go to invade. Yeah, I haven't seen many pizza cutters, by the way. There's been a few weapons that I haven't seen much of. I've never seen anyone use this either, by the way, that we've been trying out. It's got an interesting Ash of War, but that's really it. <laughs> we tried that out in one of those invasions, but that was it. I know, man. I really hope they make a way into Lena's Rise. Because, like, I want to invade that whole area of Kaelid. Like, the whole top area. But anytime you stand there, you just get the people that hide in Lena's Rise. It's tough. Oh, oh okay. Another thing, I guess. Connections. <laughs> so, we got a few things that we got to fix. But if they do, this has the potential to be, like, the best PvP Souls game. It just needs some work. Uh, the Cypher Pitas have been pretty good. They've been okay. I think I only used them against that one shield guy and then the, to chase down someone on those roofs. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure, Alex. I'm going to take time out of my day to 1v1 someone in chat who's only spammed 1v1 me the entire time. That sounds like a great use of my time. Uh, yo, thank you, man. Again, Bob, I, I appreciate it. <laughs> like, dude, I, I really, I'm, I'm like trying to understand the mindset of some people when you stream and you see these things spammed. It's like, dude, no one's going to do that. No one, absolutely no one. Unless their stream says, duel me. I don't advise spamming 1v1 me. <laughs> like, dude. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. 3v1 us. Hey, I can appreciate that one a little bit more, I guess. But, dude, you see that so much. It's really funny. People are pretty funny. 
one v gank. <laughs> That's basically what an invasion is. So yeah, fair. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm. I mean, be yeah, like, can you have enough bow arrows to do a bow only invasion stream? <laughs> like, uh, you'd need a lot of arrows, right? I know you can craft them, but holy, you'd need quite the amount. I don't know if I could see that happening. Hello there. Wait, you had another team. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Hey, I see your son, bro. I see you there. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> you can come out now. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. Oh, this is bringing such good times, honestly. Front flipu. Our one who. Jesus, dude. Polly. Oh, for sure, man. The higher you go, the more FP spam it's going to be, and less, like, skill based spacing and sword play. 100%. I think all of us predicted that after seeing the certain Ashes of War. Like, yeah, you're important enough for the streamer's attention. It's more like, it's not even what the, the stream is about, you know? Like, if I had a, a stream called Duel Me, sure. It's just like, the, I see people do that in, like, even gun games when someone's playing, like, a battle royale. And it's like, 1v1 me. It's like, bro. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Thank you, a crispy peener, though. I appreciate it. That most people understand. Whoa, lightning, lightning, lightning. That's right. That's how I feel about your great hammer dunking on my face. Oh, I oh my god. Oh. oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Backstab chains have returned. Let's go. Guitar hero. 1v1 me. Through the fire and the flames, extreme only. <laughs> oh shit. With the scythe too. That looked, that looked fancy. That looks fancy, man. Let's go again. I kind of like being in the fields of the Altus Plateau. Yo, Gabriel. Thank you, man. <laughs> oh, this stream's been too funny. My stomach actually kind of hurts from laughing. There we go. I know, man. This, like, was there a secret backstab patch? I've been landing so many today. The double, dude. I don't know, man. It's been nice. <laughs> it's been very nice. But yeah, honestly, the Scythe one's very cool. I guess they heard our complaints from the Dark Souls series. The Scythe used to just go through their stomach, and it looked, it looked pretty dumb. Thank you. Yeah, Scorch, we were talking about that. I've only run into like two teams that have done it. I mean, it's still more than there should be, obviously, but like... Yo, Raptor, thank you for the membership for 50 months. 50 months? <laughs> I don't even think I've been streaming that long. Hold up. That's four years. I think that's when I started streaming, dude. Thank you so much, man. What the fuck? <laughs> I didn't even know YouTube had memberships four years ago. <laughs> 50 months? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that's like... I'm, I'm serious. Yeah, like... I only made my YouTube channel like towards the mid of 2017. That's crazy, man. I don't even know if I was streaming back then. I think I was just making videos. <laughs> 50 years. <laughs> Did I say years? Man, I'm tired. <laughs> that one Templar. All right, Templar. Uh, you're a wizard, so I'm going to give you the spears. Whee! Can I backstab that? No. Uh, that would have been really cool. Okay, there's bears here. And I kind of feel bad because you're doing very good, but you're surrounded by bears. Well... I mean, sir, I'm going to need you to calm down. We can have our fight. But could you kill the bears first, sir? Kill the bears. Does he not see those things? <laughs> Go ahead and kill the bears. 
<laughs> that's crazy though, Raptor. Thank you so much, man. That's actually insane. This berry is scary. That's true, but like I, I, I want him to kill it. Otherwise, it's just gonna be destroying us. Yeah. <laughs> I actually, I wasn't gonna fight him at first till the bear left, but he kept attacking anyway. So. Thank you, Max. <laughs> We're getting a show right now. Thank you so much, Max. You got this. We believe in you, man. We believe in you. Hey, nice, dude. Nice. Okay. Now I'm ready. I wasn't ready earlier. Oh, enough poise. For two spears. So more poise than I thought. That didn't stun him either. Huh. That thing must have a lot more poise than I... There we go. Than I think. The hell could he be wearing that has so much poise? I'm like intrigued more than anything. Fun fight, man. What the hell is your outfit? <laughs> he has the scale greaves as the chest piece, right? That man is poisy. Jeez. Patty, shout out to 50. Dude, yeah, that's insane. That's actually crazy. I didn't think there was anybody that was. I wonder if you can check like the longest memberships on YouTube somehow. I would totally do that. Just to give some shout outs there. The one handed halberd poise wizard. I know, but even with the poise talisman, man. I guess. I guess that works. Thank you. Yeah, Shadow I should, Gary. You're, that's that's what I'm saying. <laughs> what the fuck? My man was poised up somehow. Maybe the leggings he was wearing. No, I'm wearing like the, one of the heaviest legging sets. I don't know. I couldn't either, Spiral. The cape was like throwing me off. Maybe, though. Uh, no particular reason, Ricardo. I just haven't grabbed a bunch and bought a, bought a bunch of knives yet. I've been spending most of my time trying to gather all the weapons. Eventually, we're going to have, like, our old PvP builds where, like, I have my favorites all set up, like, Strength, Dex, Int, Faith. These are just the first versions of those. Excuse me. Like, each of these builds I'm only using, like, on stream now. Like, I grab the weapons that I think will do good, and then we try them out. Oh, maybe that's why. I forget that the, the dual spears don't always connect together. That's true. Um, Did I invade someone fighting a boss? No, that was a bear. We just let him fight the bear. Oh, wait. I keep confusing these two. No, I don't have the magma curve sword yet. That I was actually farming for that earlier in the volcano manor, but I didn't get it, sadly. Yeah, I've heard the Albinoric pots um, block Estus like undead hunting charms, right? Something like that. Oh yeah, there's the Baldekin's Blessing. I forget that exists all the time. Oh, oh, you meant in this area. Oh yeah, sometimes they can be right at the boss fight, yeah. Oh yeah, Waves of Darkness is that Ash of War that like sends the waves on the ground, right? I do need to try all. Oh, that's two of them. I <laughs> should. They're both right in the boss fight. Oh, no. Don't worry about that, Scorch. It's all good. Thank you, though. I'll get one or I'll bother Lost for one. <laughs> we were both farming for it earlier. Maybe he got it. I wonder how much item discovery you need to like actively get a lot of the, the items. I had like close to 200 when I was crushing the, the pickled whatever foot <laughs> um i'm not sure what the the good item discovery breakpoint is for getting armor pretty quick oh they're over there i've been invaded by the bots this area is the worst can i jump this man fall damage in this still confuses me Uh, this way. Okay. I had 284 and took three hours. Oh, that's not very comforting. 
I had a good play though, you know, standing here. I have nightmares about that miracle. That one invasion. Hua! <laughs> Dual scythes. Hua! Hua! <laughs> okay, this ain't gonna work with this current setup. Um get this going you want to cast some stuff at me we'll trade all right that sounds like a, a fair play you throw those pebbles and i'll throw lightning at you that's a fair trade hey okay, pull out your sword douglas driglas driglas <laughs> okay he's a bit laggy oh my god his rocks lagged oh no um you know let's go for the storm stomp that could be useful my man didn't even roll when he rolled. We're just gonna hope the stomp works here. Smash. It's actually hard to pressure him because like, I can't tell what he's doing sometimes because he's just kind of teleporting. Like that. <laughs> Okay, we'll heal. <laughs> Surprised that hasn't been hitting me with uh, mine and this guy's connection, to be honest. <laughs> I think his whole build is a miracle build. <laughs> his rolls are for sure a miracle. <laughs> Maybe we can get him with the, the flame combo. Sir. Oh my god. They come out like when he's not looking at me. <laughs> A good representation of peer to peer connect. Oh, is that the when the fire hit him? Oh my god. We're fighting in the future. Ghosts of future past. Man, could you could you stop hey, lagging for a second? What do you think is the best thing to use against someone so, so unstable connection? That maybe, and we'll try to proc a madness. Maybe. I'm just gonna heal this. <laughs> I mean, he's definitely a survivor, but like, damn. A connection is helping him a lot. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll get out of here. We'll be on our way. Josh, thank you so much. Favorite Ash of War. Mm, between Flaming Strike, a Giant Hunt. I'm actually liking the Red Man Flame as well. This one right here is really good. Has some good range when you angle it. Like, it's pretty damn good. It's good crowd control. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not their fault if they have, like, an unstable connection. But damn, damn is it rough. Lag. Did you not see the teleporting? No. <laughs> I know you're memeing. I don't think anybody could have seen that and not seen that. Yeah, red main is pretty damn good. I've been liking it a lot. Flame of the red mains. Kya. Uh, is it really good poise damage on PV? Hmm. I'll, I'll take note of that. That's cool. Uh. He's nearby. <laughs> oh no. I'm bad at hide and go seek. Uh, I'm just respecting my one main character at the moment, Dove. Well, my PvP character that we have made. Um. Okay. So he's this way. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna leave you alone. That's too funny. <laughs> you win. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, we're not going to hit him. That's too funny. That's cute. <laughs> I have a build addiction. Yeah, I've just been respecting them, Dove. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cute. That's funny. <laughs> Only reason I found him was because we have that like compass that points me in the direction at least. If it wasn't for that, I would have never seen that shit. Guaranteed. Uh, the Grave Scythe? I think I used that on my int build. All those scythes are pretty good, with this one obviously being the best because it blocks your healing. <laughs> uh, or uh, so much fun if you unless you see Rivers of Blood and Retaliation. Yeah. That's how it be. At the moment. Oh. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you know, it's tough when you fight someone while they're fighting a dragon. Uh, although, I, you know, the phantom's kinda doing all the work while the host is... <laughs> He's just chilling in the back. Hey. I could watch this, but this might take forever. Yeah, I'm with you. Like, okay, I'm gonna be honest. Every Rivers of Blood we tend to kill anyway. Um, I'm, I'm honestly more bothered by Moonvale in a group. It can pressure me harder. It's, it's fairly easy to dodge the Ash of War of uh, Rivers of Blood. Now, don't get me wrong, it's way too strong, especially if you get your the bleed proc in between the Ash of War, because then you get stunned, and that's when it becomes a pain in the ass. Um, but I have had more issues fighting like groups that have Moonvale than Rivers of Blood. Just personally. Objectively, three dudes with Rivers of Blood probably scarier than three dudes with Moonvale, but yeah, like it's, it's, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> well, I'm glad I could chat with you guys while they fought that boss. I think, I think I majorly screwed over the phantom. He couldn't heal. <laughs> and then he got hit by the dragon. <laughs> I kind of did that on autopilot while talking to you guys. I was actually waiting. <laughs> that was my bad. My bad entirely. <laughs> Let's go to the communion. Yeah, 1v1, I, I also feel that Rivers of Blood is worse, for sure. I think it's mostly the range of the Moon Veil and the fact that it chunks right away, whereas Rivers, or Rivers of Blood, they have to do the bleed build up on you, and it's not the most damaging until they get the bleed procs. So, in a group, three Rivers of Blood would suck. Uh, alone, it's... I Yeah, the Moon Veil is easier to handle alone, I think. I agree. It's just when they have like an aggressor on a team and then they have like a moon veiler. Uh, that's when I would say moon veil is more annoying because its range is just pretty absurd compared to most things. Hello! Oh, you have a scythe too, let's go. My turn. Oh, <laughs> I don't have enough time to get the crit. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Hey, that's for you. <laughs> Tarumi. Wait. Tarumi. Okay, no, you're not the guy from earlier. The anti Estus is annoying, but you know what? We do have the flask of physics, so, like, you still kind of get a heal, you know? If you have some regen going, it's not the biggest deal. Um. That seemed like it should have hit me. That was weird. Oh, Wizard be doing some good damage though. I'll give him that. Um, so the the reason the Rivers of Blood combos is only if you get bled on the second swing of the first part of the Ash of War. Then you're stunned for the rest of it. If you don't though, you can just time your roll and get out from the next part. It's not all a true combo unless they get bled. Excuse me. All right, Wizard. I'm about to pop your bubble. Literally. Hey there. Oh no. I had plans, but they were they were backed off by the wizard the wizard pressure. Jump attack. 
Nice. No damage on my beautiful backstab. Awesome. <laughs> peak. Peak backstab play. I think it's because I got hit by his stupid pebble. The moon. My man's has 70 int. Okay. Damn. No wonder his pebbles are hurting. Haha. Interesting. I mean, I've never been. Wait, wait, what did you say? I have to read that, Mad Hatter. Sorry. Without proccing bleed. Oh, maybe it depends on the level you're at because I've been hit by half the combo of the Rivers of Blood. And it, well, it does immense damage. I didn't die because I didn't get bled during it. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. If they have, like, ridiculously high arcane and they're just super squishy, yeah, that will increase the blood rate for sure. I was thinking more of, like, a regularly balanced build, but a lot of people out here with 80 of stuff and no health, so I feel you. That probably can happen, yeah. No, I love how the mage has the magic shield. <laughs> Whatever. What is the shield actually called? I always forget. At least the, the mage doesn't hit very hard with their sword. But their pebbles. Their pebbles chunk. Um. I wonder how long that lasts. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mad Adder, though. Yeah, um, you can do pretty absurd damage in this game regardless. So if you spec into not having health and just all damage output, yeah, you're gonna do some wacky damage for sure. Like 100%. Kya! Oh, what does that do? Oh, he's buffing his shield. Uh, okay. Hang on. Let's get a little bit of this going really quick. Um, and then we'll switch weapons. I'm going to try to think of something I can use to get through his shield. Okay. This kind of... Actually, I don't know if this will get through his magic shield. I really don't know. I think that kind of blocks like everything to an extent. I'd have to see. Because this has shield piercing. Nope. I still hit him through it. Okay. That's something then. I would have been using that a little bit more earlier if I would have known that. I was kind of avoiding attacking the wizard. I thought that would block pierce damage. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it just raises elemental defense. Okay. Let me think on what I can do to get through the shields. Shields are always the worst to deal with. Maybe the Cypher Pizza. These work right through shields, right? Or is it just the Ashes of War on the Straight Sword, like we talked about before? Where it'll do full damage through a shield. Oh, yeah, the Madness can infinite combo you. That, that's for sure. 100%. Yeah, your shield ain't so strong now! <laughs> So that goes right through shield. I mean, it's pretty easy to dodge, though, for being real. It's such a long wind-up. Um, definitely. Oh, well, surprised that hit me. <laughs> Both ignore shields? Wait, Cypher Pita ignores shields? Hold up. Does it? I read it like that, but is it just the Ash of War? Oh, okay. It's the Ash of War again. Okay. I see. The moon spell. <laughs> Nobody pulls that out every now and then. We'll, we'll get the wizard in time. I just want the scythe dude off my butt. Oh. Let's cast him. 
Okay. Okay, at this point we can just He's a great spear. He'll get roll call for sure. Sleep swords. Okay, this guy's got an interesting setup going. Oh, that didn't kill him. Damn. Okay. Well, now we just kind of need to sneeze on him. There we go. Sneeze complete. Okay, now let's try this thing's Ash of War, shall we? Oh, it's like a thrust. Okay. Damn, that's strong. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Fun fight, though. Okay, so there's two, like, I mean, they're kind of easy to dodge, but you can still pull them off to get, I guess, damage through shields. GG, though, that was fun. Yeah, that's a pretty cool Ash of War. Thrust through shields? Definitely, definitely strong. Ah, uh, damn. Favorite build that I've tried so far? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I always love strength, and I feel like strength is pretty solid because you can use the ice infusions on the weapons. They'll do pretty damn good damage, ice infused with frostbite buildup. Uh, you can use fire, and you can use heavy as well so it's got like three infusions that work for it i feel like i like that i might revisit the strength build soon revise it a little bit yeah i wish there was weapons that did damage through shields normally and like you just make the weapon itself weaker i feel like that would have been better but it kind of helped out against a lot of the shield issues do the regular attacks go like fully through though or Is it, or is it just doing damage because most shields don't have like high holy absorption? I'm not sure. Shotel. Yeah, I, I have the crescent thing as well, but it doesn't do like it's full damage through shields. You know what I mean? It's all holy and no physical. Yeah, so that's probably why it's good for that reason. Second one, yeah. No shield can repel it. Hmm. Repel. Do they mean repel as in like bounce off the shield? Because fist weapons sometimes will bounce off shields. Or do they actually mean like full piercing damage? Hmm. Oh yeah, Mad Hatter. That's true too. I find that one kind of hard to use. If people play patiently, it's pretty easy to dodge, I guess. It says repel, doesn't it? A formless sequence of ciphers comprised in the blade, as such no shield can repel it. But the unblockable blade is its Ash of War. That's just its Ash of War, though. To the city! Stopped like an inch from your face. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. It has decent range for a fist weapon. Definitely does. Ah, they won't bounce off. Okay, so that's what it, me it meant. Okay, it can't bounce off. Damage is still reduced on block. Okay. That's that's what it sounded like when reading it, except for the Ash of War. The Ash of War goes straight through. You missed the pistols from Bloodborne. <laughs> I guess I've always preferred the parrying with shields myself, but I can see the love for Bloodborne. I can. Use the sword then, yeah. It's also pure. Holy damage as well. The sword one might be harder to... I don't know. The fist ones are pretty aggressive. It's hard to say. Yeah, the Ash of War itself goes straight through shields. In indeed. We saw that. <laughs> yeah, the, the gun parry is not my favorite. <laughs> I don't know. Kyo. Uh, 
I didn't really get much PvP time in Bloodborne though. I think in my playthrough, I had like a couple fights when I streamed it. That's like it. Yeah, that's nice. Not bouncing off shields is nice because you can at least like do, do wield attack it, you know? Maybe try to like strafe the poke a little bit, but like it's still like a long animation, so. Yeah, Wex Dust on PC for Dark Souls 3 was glorious. You didn't have to like go area to area looking. <laughs> it's tough. Open world blood. I mean, yeah, it'd be close to like what this is, I suppose. But like more Bloodborne lore and like enemies. Hmm. Raining. Oh no, my lightning defense. <laughs> Hello there, man. Everyone summons this beast of an NPC. Wait, does he have two NPCs? He's got Millicent. Hey, while they fight your boss. Wait, unless he's, hang on, hold up. Can you get invaded if you summon NPCs? Is that what's happening here? Oh, he chunks though. Or the boss hit me, I don't know. <laughs> I love this guy. He's been trying to drink that Estus the whole time. <laughs> Good fight, NPCs. Good job. You can? Oh my god, that's funny. Okay, I thought they'd have to use the Taunter's Tongue or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that one felt... that was rough. Why... I mean, I don't even want to invade near that stupid horse. Why does it put me there? That's like way over here. You think I'd get invasions like here? That's what I'm aiming for. Maybe if I go more forward. I always get thrown off when I uh, see the big NPC. I think it's a dude in like the bull goat gear. What in the... Hello? How many of you are here? Sounds suspicious, and I saw glowing stuff over there. Baymore! <laughs> I feel like you have someone hiding as a rock over there. I'm a little suspicious, is all I'm saying. Just a little bit suspicious. Where was he? <laughs> Where was this wizard? <laughs> what in the... Shit. Okay. That's actually a weird one to dodge. I'm gonna be honest. Where was the wizard originally? I want answers. Oh, wait. oh, you still have this? I haven't seen that in days. <laughs> wait. <laughs> I was like, hang on, where's the host at? <laughs> he can't heal. <laughs> That's funny. Goodbye, Dr. Hatchet. Yo, honestly, the scythe? Great. Great invasion tool. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Who's just running? Distract him, distract him. <laughs> I love this game. It's so funny. <laughs> what if we get... I always try to get invasions near the, the madness place, but... I never seem to be active. Yeah, they did they tone down the damage on the stomp at all? When I looked at it, I don't think I seen any damage nerf. It was just like uh, the FP cost was increased and they slightly slower slowered it, <laughs> slowed it down. That's what I remember. 
Oh, they nerfed the damage. Oh, okay. Oh, yo, get this bot out of here. <laughs> Damn, that's that's rough. They more than half did. Jeez, God, I guess I haven't used, I haven't gone back to my ice build in a bit. So, rats. Oh, we got an invasion here. This is pretty rare, honestly. Oh, the madness thing. I wonder if that will build up madness on me. That would be rough. I got the wrong one. What? What did I get? Oh shit! I'm sorry! <laughs> Hang on! I'll unhide ya! <laughs> I'm sorry, a twitchy. I think you're good. I banned the wrong dude. <laughs> Connor, thank you, man. Damn it, I'm fighting and doing stuff. <laughs> Leave me alone. Where are my shrimps? Yo, thank you so much, Connor. Your shrimps! What are your shrimps? As in food? Hello there. Oh, nice. We can try the, the cipher pizza. Hello. We got we got buff damage, boys. How much range do you think this has? That's not the one I thought I was holding. I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought I had the straight sword out. He's trying to zone me. Dodge. Smack. Smack and dodge. Oh. <laughs> that was not a lot of health, but also that was a lot of damage. This thing has range. <laughs> this man chase at 90. No, only 40. <laughs> Listen, I've always had tanky builds. It's just how I, I do it. I, I feel like survivability is more important than DPS. That's just, I guess that's the best way I can explain. <laughs> it's an interesting one. It looks pretty damn cool. Cure. Sure. Yeah, it's got a long startup, but good range, so people like challenge it or like try to block it. I guess that could be useful. Yeah, holy damage seems good. I think uh, if you guys look at your build, I wonder like how your holy absorption is, like not on the armor set, but like your your physical itself, like the flat defense. I always high because I'm a faith build. Smoking doinks. Wait a second. Doinks. We fought each other so much in DS3. Doinks. Hello. I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, viewers find me pretty damn easy. Let's do it, doinks. I got... I don't know what I'm going to use. I'm going to try this halberd out, though. Is that good? What does that do? I'm very unaware of what that does. Smoking doinks. Oh, the lance jumping attack. Here we go. With determination, it'll do some immense damage. Take the buff off that he's got going on there. Yeah. Um. We need more damage output. <laughs> oh, that was good. Um, what do we want? Okay, I guess a little bit of this. Okay, the determination wore off. What in the... I think that was an accidental swap. <laughs> the punch to the face! Oh! What the? Okay. Why do reds specifically dislike me? Hang on. Kill this guy in a second. <laughs> Every time I'm fighting, dude, there's a red in my ass. Stop going in to kill everyone. <laughs> what a rude ass. Um, 
Um, let's just try... Sure. What a rude ass, honestly. Alright. Go. Cool. <laughs> All the reds, man, I swear. They're so... rude. Fun fight, smoking doinks. Every time. <laughs> it is coming. Ash of war in my ass. That was an NPC invader. Wait, wait, whoa, what? No, no, that's a lie. Hold up. You almost got me with that. No, no, no. <laughs> There's no Ash of War NPC invader, except for the one in the mountains, but not there. Almost got me with that. <laughs> A level 796. Is that the max level? <laughs> Yo, Jitty, that guy wanted both of us. If that was you. He was just ready with the rivers of blood. <laughs> he was ready. <laughs> All the reds I killed. I hit them. I don't think I usually killed my teammates by accident. I did hit them, though. <laughs> Dude, I'm not going to lie. That scared me. It scared the shit out of me. Madara Uchiha. I'm coming in. Oh, max is 713. Oof. Thank you, Chris. I guess max level would be 713. Oh, hello, horsey. <laughs> Excuse me while I join in on all the fun. Get him, horse! <laughs> I got your back! I don't know what the sun... What, what is going on? Why, where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> okay! <laughs> Madara! Face my lightning... <laughs> where is that sun, bro? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> he's just gone. Away from the horse. This guy's going in an entirely different direction. <laughs> JP, man, I'm here. <laughs> A rock? Man, what's with the rocks? All right, sir. Come here. Do the second part. I want to see if I can backstab it. Oh, they, they really wanted to be away from the... <laughs> <laughs> From the horse. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this one's for you, hostie. There you go. <laughs> Back to the wilds with ye. Oh! <laughs> I didn't see you there. Wah! <laughs> I love that that hit him. Wah! Face my flame. Meager flame. Excuse me. I'm gonna need you to stop lagging, good sir. Oh god. <laughs> that was the most convenient time I've seen to lag ever. Whoop. Don't worry, there's more fire coming at you. Coming at you hot. That's the only way fire comes. Guard break! <laughs> nice! <laughs> Amazing. Sir, I'm gonna need you to calm down, sir. I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you to stop swinging. Or start swinging. Let's try a reaction parry. Get out of the bush, sir. Oh, you can parry that! Well, you're alive? <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, all right then. No, what? <laughs> That's amazing. I didn't know you could parry that. I honestly figured most ashes of war couldn't be parried. Well, I would have been doing a lot more. I mean, I really gotta find out what's parryable and what's not.
You can parry. I know you can parry the Moonveil one, but I have to be close to them to parry it, and most of the time they fire that from like out of parry range. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yeah, true. Ah, I don't know how they like have that as an oversight. How you can just like infinite stun with the the madness snipe. That's so bad. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot that needs to be fixed. Golden parry. Oh yeah, that has like the ranged parry, right? Is it like the same frames as like a regular parry? Oh god, okay. Uh, I haven't really tried it. I do have it, but I haven't tried it. The geyser there. Oh, whoa, it's very gold in here. What's with the... Use the magma whip on some dude. <laughs> yeah, well definitely, when I get a host alone, I'll try the Ash of War and just like walk and see how well it does. Oh, interesting, NLM. I'll have to test that out. I have a friend that has like, I don't know, like 180 ping to me from Europe. I'll test that. That way we know. Can you parry Giant Hunt? I think you can parry most thrust things. That's always been a thing. It's just like the... The Ashes of War that have like jumping involved and stuff, I never know. Because it looks weird, you know, it looks unparryable. Uh, what's in my physic? The the one that regens you in your low health, and then the other one's just like a regen over time. Basically, there's like a Tears of Denial Sacred Flask, that's what I use. Where it's like, you're low. Oh. You know what's really bad? I wouldn't have seen these guys. Nope. I would have ran right by here. Had I not heard him, wouldn't have seen you. Rude! <laughs> Come on, Devcon. What do you got? Moonveil and a rapier, huh? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Why did you not dodge out of that? <laughs> Odd choice. Virgil, Lady Maria. All right, if you go for the second one, I'm going to have to punish it. Okay, you didn't go for the second one, at least. Going to have to match the cheese setup, though. <laughs> Whoa! Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Didn't know there was more to that. Hold up. Let me drink my blue flask. My blue flask. All right. The bugs have soft-sided. <laughs> okay. That works. Um, Honestly, that's a good AoE for, like, katana catching. Yeah, do that. Do that. I hope he does the Ash of War next. Trade. Okay, now I need to finish. Kyoha. What's better, katanas with bloodhound step? Or this? Find out. Ah, I can't roll catch the bloodhound step. Ah, so it would have worked too if they didn't have more iframes on bloodhound. Fun fight though, man. Very fun fight. Kyoha. Cool. Um, what do we use here? Let's give him a bow. Moonlight. Um, okay. <laughs> Just face tank trade, me and this guy. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Virgil. That was a fun fight. Oh. Hey, Asna. Bow at you. What? I bowed at you. MLGS Chad, I know. It's actually hard to use. I, I, I got some kills with it in our int build, but it's not the easiest by any means. That was fun though. I almost ran by them, to be honest. 
straight up. Wouldn't have seen them. I like their uh, their gestures to start that off with too. <laughs> it came into dab. True. Oh no, okay, so this still exists, I guess. We were talking about this earlier, how people like sit in this tower, wait to be invaded, and then the invader kind of has no choice but to go home, because you can't get in there. Is there really no way in there without your horse? That's such a, I know, it's like an oversight. I feel like you can get most places with your horse, or without your horse, but. Yeah, if the door's closed, you have to jump in the back, right? You have to jump onto the the railing there. Damn. It's tough. What? Sir. Yo, Peter. Thank you so much, man. I'll be keeping at it. Always new, happy when attempting to new build to every time. Your stream. Maybe Keep you can shoot the in there. Work, True. Go. But I, I guess they could be anywhere in there, right? Man, this would be such a cool place to invade, too. Because you get, like, all of this and, like... I don't know. Whenever I do it, I just end up in this tower. It sucks. Such a cool place though. I hope they fix that somehow. Use the red Yeah, but you can never get in the the tower. Visconius, Visconius sorry. The the finger will never <laughs> Yeah, every stream, I know man. Once a stream that happens to me. I just wanna go up there. <laughs> wanna invade there. Yeah, but you, it'll bring you to a spawn point, and there's no spawn point in that tower, so. Use Mogwin's spear to get them out. Oh, yo, hey, that's, a, that's an idea. Just gotta find out where they are near the wall, I guess, but that is an idea right there. Let's try the knife. Yeah, I know, it sucks. You'd think there would be a way to teleport in, though, man. I wish. Uh, the town of Sorcery and Kaled. Oh yeah, the, the Celia town, Zach. Yeah, we invade there. I can go there next. I do like that area. Oh. Oh. Okay. You say. We could try dueling. Dive. Daggers. Dives. Oh. Oh, you might... Suspicious. Quite suspicious. They sent the elevator up for me. Hmm. What lays in wait down here? Okay. Honestly, not too bad. Never mind, they're, they're hidden there. <laughs> I totally didn't see you. <laughs> Not at all. Nice, that actually worked. <laughs> Oof. What is this one? Oh yeah, giant hunt. Oh yeah, how have I been neglecting my baby? <laughs> Such a good attack. I just gotta get him with a clean poke to giant hunt. Oh, that wasn't it, but... Oh. <laughs> yeah, your teammate left. That's really funny, actually. That was looking kind of dire, I'm not even gonna lie. I wasn't expecting him to hop in right there. Nice. <laughs> Okay, so I, I really like Giant Hunt on this. It seems to have a really good stun to uh, combo. That was dangerous, dude. <laughs> Favorite armor set? Honestly, on fashion, I love what I'm wearing. Uh, I'm going to keep looking. And there's another version of the Banished Knight set that has like a cloth that I like a lot. But I love this fashion. I've always been huge into like knights, though. So I guess I'm a little different than some people. I know they like their like cloth armor sets. I really like night fashion. This way? Let's try the windmill village. Oh. 
Oh boy. The creepy forest. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite weapon, to be honest. I mean, I, I like the Claymore in all games, and this one it's not the best weapon, but like, I like its R2s. And it works good with a lot of the Ashes of War that I choose for it, so it's been working well for me. One month, psh, you manage stamina. Aw, oh, dude. Poncho, thank you, man. I try. Honestly, do you guys feel like Elden Ring has high stamina? I feel like I'm never out of stamina. The only reason I would ever upgrade, like, the only reason I level my stamina is for armor. So, I do love the Claymore. This thing's pretty cool. I guess I like I like uh, great swords. But like, yeah, we have so much stamina. I don't know what it is. You don't even need to level. The only reason you need to level stamina is if you want poisy armor. That's like all I'm seeing. It's very high. Yeah, even at base, yeah. Like, if it wasn't for, like, what you could do to even, like, save a ton of points on builds is just wear the Poise Ram, like, Talisman instead of Havels and wear lighter armor for Poise. You'd probably save some levels there as well. I do like this fashion a lot, though, so. And some weapons are pretty heavy on, on my strength build, so I, I need it, sadly. And Dual Wheel does eat stamina. That's something I've noticed. It does. That's why I really only do wield like spears. I don't do a great swords and stuff that much. I feel slightly. I don't know how much casting takes. Like I don't know. I, I don't tend to cast while I'm fighting outnumbered in like a an area where my stamina would be like being depleted a lot. So I don't notice. <laughs> Oro goes with thirteen endurance. Oh my god. I guess you can. I'm mostly doing it for like the fashion slash the poise. But I love this set. This helm is like one of my favorites, man. I don't know, the hair. It's the hair for me. <laughs> I have to be honest. Definitely the hair is the reason I like this set so much. Flows in the wind. It's awesome. Oh, I gotta go around to get up there. Or do I? Can I climb the ladder to get up there? Well, I know how to get up there. We'll just go the regular way. <laughs> I don't know what killed that guy, but all right. I heard a moon veil. <laughs> of course. You silly. Get in the corner. That's what you deserve. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Here's a question. Wait, 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 what if there's nothing in my way? Ah! <laughs> uh. Damn. I'm coming down. Hang on a second. I just want to see if we can hit him with one. I don't think it's going to happen. Okay. Fool. The power of R2. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to dodge the lightning, but then he rolled into the poison. Aw, oh, he was eating the blossom too, and I happened to jump on him. That was a series of unfortunate events for our poor man. Oh, the rope pot's gonna work there. That's true. I just wanted to see the lightning hit though, to be honest. Uh, I've, I can't alter the Banished Knight. Oh, the, the helm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have the I have the other helm, yeah. I like this one more, though. I tried to alter the chest piece. I can't. <laughs> it's sad. You have to farm the regular unaltered one. I'm going to do that, too. That, the Magma Blade for the next Faith build, and uh, a few other weapons that I'm missing. Whoa. Hold up. This area is weird. Yeah. I just like to invade here to switch it up. It's not my favorite though. 
Is it Bach? Is that the guy? I don't know if he allows you to actually alter this chess piece though. Maybe. Uh, not too much, to be honest. Uh, just, just like weapon farming and stuff. That's really it. Hello there, rivers of blood. A wizard with rivers of blood. Hello. What's up? Hey. Hello. Give you a bow. Hey. So, what are we doing here? Hitting the wizard. That's the beginning. That marks the war. No. Dodge. <laughs> You think I didn't see your rivers of blood coming from a mile away, my friend? Nice. <laughs> you ran out of FP right there, didn't you? You did. How do you feel? Okay, come here. Gravity magic. Whoop, whoop. A little bit of gravity magic. <laughs> I don't want to be near the poison pit though, ugh. And I'm kind of stuck on there with the rivers of blood, and that's that's a bad time. So, uh... I'm gonna have to jump across. Hello there. Whoop. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> Alright, this guy's confident he can beat me, which I, I'm, I'm down for seeing. <laughs> Rivers of Blood ain't gonna carry you. Not unless you have your teammate beside you, then, then it might help a lot, but uh, other than that... Wait, did that? I did a lot of damage, huh? For what it did to me. Or is it the bow guy doing that good, good amount of damage? Oh. Whoop. I need to get rid of the rivers of blood guy. But I need the other guy to not interfere, which isn't gonna happen. Okay, there goes Rivers of Blood guy. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's happening. There's a lot of shit in front of me. <laughs> what is going on? This chaos. <laughs> Clouds and shit, and then. <laughs> That's crazy. That monster surprised the hell out of me. I forgot he rises right from that corner. And you had the horseman just riding. <laughs> that was funny. May chaos take the world. Oh, let's go here. Yeah, those things are tough. I didn't even know it spawned there. I thought it spawned towards the back of the area. No, I didn't. I didn't know that that spawned there, Henry. <laughs> I'd like to say I did, but no. I thought it spawned towards the back of where I was standing. Oh, they teleport. Oh, so okay. So he got aggroed earlier. That makes sense. That's funny. <laughs> That's extremely funny. I actually like this a lot though. This works. Um. Oh yeah, we gotta try the whip out. Kill the phantom and then remind me to try the whip. I'm liking that the fire weapons do so well on faith though. Very good. It's very good. Okay, so he's got Vike Spear. 
Um, and then that's a wizard. Like spear with a shield, but it's not the strongest shield. So, hunter summoned, and they're usually behind me. Hold up. I'm gonna pay attention where he is. I'm getting bad at that. I gotta learn where the blue spawn points are. Was well, it like frame lossy for use right now, stream? My game is like. I think it's all the particles of the. This, whatever this yellow stuff is. Oh, yeah, this is the first time I've seen frame loss like this. Weird. Whoop. Goodbye, Silas. What's going on here? Okay. Weird. It's like right when I hit record, I guess. That's strange. Oh yeah, by the way, in the water, you have uh, better fire resistance, right? Let me check, when it's raining, does my fire go up? Oh yeah, wait. Is that natural? I don't know. <laughs> Can't tell if armor has good fire absorption or if rain is increasing fire absorption. Hey, thank you, Vicro. Yeah, it's weird that the elements actually change uh, the negation of like lightning damage and stuff like that. I find it pretty cool. Does weather affect magic? Yeah, fire is more resistant during rain. Yes, nice. I thought so. And if you're standing on water, I believe as well. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> Pays to have a sword of each element. Play with the elements. Yeah, it is. Well, yeah, but you have to crouch first, so you have to take that into consideration. It's pretty easy to dodge the crouch pokes. They're also parryable, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Lightning is good when it rains. Indeed, it, it is. I thought this was a player. What? <laughs> Why did it frostbite? Yeah, I actually like lightning builds. Hello, Marnie. Hello. A whip and spear. Hello, Marnie. Banished knight, whatever. And a whip. And a wizard. It's a wizard! It's a wizard, Harry. Oh, actually, no, I'll fight your banished knight set. Put the banished knight. I'm down. Oh, it's a frostbite one. Okay, I'm not down then. I don't have any staff rocks. I gotta get you with damage. That their damage. Whee. Stars of ruin. Stars of lame. Hey Chase, I have been liking the STR and build you tried out the other day. I was wondering what your stat allocation. Thank you. I gotta read that. In one second. For the help. Thank you. Stars of ruin. Honestly, one of the more annoying spells we should have. Just because, I don't know. It's not it for me. They're impossible to dodge fully, so. I wanted him to proc it on my attack there, but he didn't. <laughs> it's not the worst chip damage, I guess, but it is chip damage nonetheless. So. Fun fight, though, Martin. Ciao. Uh, Alex, hey, Chase, I've been liking the strength infield you tried the other day and was wondering what your stat allocated would be at 125. So, uh, depending on if you're going to go more with the strength scaling weapons, I would probably have my strength uh, 50 in 30, maybe. So when you get the two hands, you get the strength bonus basically to the soft cap of uh the 80 oh, well almost you could go 54 for ideal two-handing but 50 30 could work really well uh it's tough to say though i'd have to look at what weapons i'd want to be using on it um what if 
forget any what are these places the 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 manor at this level yo cam how thank you man there we go yeah you need 38 by default for redons yeah so minimum like even like no matter what level i had 38 strength minimum yeah Yeah, 54 strength is a good, a good point, because you can two-hand to get the 80, like the soft cap, and then uh, if you want to have int as well, put the int in for the weapons you're using. Oh. Hello there. Maria. Wizard Rhea. You're both wizards, aren't you? The lot of you. All wizards. I think he'll try to jump on me. I'd be down. Try to jump on me, waifu. Ah, your big old body <laughs> blocked my possible backstab. Nice. Sweet. Yeah, let's get the regen going. A move veil, of course. <laughs> Why would I expect different? <laughs> There's always a moon veil. Good trade. Okay, so we need to kill the Moon Veiler real quick. Then we have the Faither. Ah, you missed. Where'd he go? Okay, I need to make an opening for the giant hunt here. That would have been it, but Moon Veil also. I knew you'd try to rush him to save him. Nice landing though, right on the plant. <laughs> That's funny. Wow, that actually has that much range. Okay. Learning as we go. Roll caught. What? Oh, you slapped me off, ya. Yeah. Oh, you dodged it. Good job. Would it work off the standard R1, I wonder? Hang on. This will be the test. It works for the running. Like the timing attack with the running attack. It works. But I need it to work off a regular R1. That'd be good to know. And this will be when we find out. Oh, he didn't dodge. Damn, okay. Well, fun fight. <laughs> Moon Veil! Yeah. Uh, I wish, Mad Hatter. They're always slightly different names, so you can never truly <laughs> just like preemptively ban them. It's It's a pain in the butt, that's for sure. Um, I guess we get some at that area. What about this? Abandoned coffin. Uh, what's that one invisible one shot? Ah, uh, that's a glitch that's going to be patched, OG, but essentially they're using the carry in retaliation and it uh, desyncs the swords that go above their head. So you won't see them fire and they one shot basically. Quite the pain in the butt. Indeed. Hey, what's up? How goes it, Kajato? Here we go. You so you can't say bot. They're like they, they, they thrive in YouTube waiting to be mentioned. <laughs> oh man. I'm in rain. Okay, so we don't want to use it. This is this is a good time for the lightning weapon arts. Nice. Yeah, I know with the stupid glintstone rocks. I know. That's annoying. What's annoying is it's actually a really good defense against mages. Not when it's glitched like this. It's obviously ridiculous. Too powerful. But uh, it's a really cool Ash of War to use against people that are spamming magic. They just need to fix the damage. It's too strong. Oh, Carlo. Thank you, man. Now I'm hooked. Honestly, yeah. Like, all my friends that had never tried it either. I just made them try it for Elden Ring. Because it is brand new. It's different. 
Thought they might like it, and yeah, some of them actually love it. Just gotta give it a try. A good try, you know, like try to make a PvP build. Give it a, some tests. Oh man, are they down there? Oh no. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, Carla. Yeah, it sucks though, even when you use it as its intended name invalid, because it still does ridiculous damage, so you still feel like. <laughs> I feel rude doing that. <laughs> Oh, wait, dragon, dragon. That's right. Um, let's try the gold sword. I mean, I know it's bad, but... Could be memes. No, it's not memes. This is bad. <laughs> wait, don't hit me with that. <laughs> All right, I'm glad he didn't hit me with that. That's fair. Um, okay. Yo, they are getting wrecked. You want to get up close and fight this dragon. You don't want to fight him from afar. Let's add, let's add, you know, we'll be part of the dragon's team here. Rip the captain. Yeah, I saw. Got hit pretty damn hard. Captain, where are you? Parkour? Ha ha, parkour. <laughs> <laughs> I have the high ground, Anakin. <laughs> oh no, the wizard, it can hit me. <laughs> cover, I take cover. <laughs> oh. That's amazing. I'm sorry, I'm coming down. That was so funny. Oh shit. Yo, he hit me off the ledge. He's pissed. <laughs> He's angry. <laughs> He's very angry. <laughs> the claymore quick step. <laughs> oh yeah, I want to backstab him for added fun. He's definitely backstabable. He does one more of those jump attacks. We're going to do it. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Oh, wait. That's the flame of... Wait, does the water... Oh, okay. I thought the water actually blocked it. That would have been so funny. Okay, you really have to aim it up. Like, even if you're on a hill. That's pretty cool. Good test, though. What? Where'd my backstab go? Man, I gotta bait him into something here. Shindo, come back. No, 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 no. I've been playing. Here, we'll fight regular if you want the regular fight. Come here. I'm here for you. I just wanted to backstab you for added fun. <laughs> oh, you're stuck in whatever the hell that is. <laughs> no. <laughs> My memes. What else do we have? We'll do the giant hunt. It's the easiest and people are scared of me. Perfect. <laughs> Bud bite, man. I want his chest piece, by the way. That's what I want. He has the armor that I want. <laughs> Gets caught twice. I crouched when I tried, man. I went right behind him, and then I just crouched by accident with the, with the analog. Unfortunate. It's close, though. I happen to love that Ash 4. It's really good. It is. It's really easy to dodge though, but it's like I, I cast it while looking at one of them and then I switch to the other one quickly while they think they're going to come in for a hit. I don't know. That always works for me fighting teams. I am. I hope they add one, uh, Piddles, because I have a series with all the Souls games. Well, the one Dark Souls 3 at the very least that I stuck to and I was trying to do all the weapons in the arena. Uh, I hope they add an arena. Thank you. Yeah, it's pretty good. Its range is great. Um, I like the red main one. I like the lightning. I haven't really used the katanas today. That's because I use them so much on like the decks and the arcane builds. So, no, I wasn't. I'm pretty sure he was wearing the the banished knight 
not altered set. Maybe it was. Maybe I'm blind. It looked like the other one. I only caught it at the end though as the invasion finished. Wah. Um. Bah. Hello. Spear of the church. Hello. <laughs> a moon. Wait, that's not even a moon veil. What the hell is that? Is every invader colorblind? Do I save him? Do you think do you think I should save him at this point? I mean I will. <laughs> every invader ever, bro. Every teammate that I have, I swear, man. Every single one of them hits me. <laughs> are, you, are you down for a fishing fight? Is that what I just witnessed? <laughs> that will not happen in this, but I mean, I'd be down if it existed. <laughs> Wait, what, what claymore am I holding? Okay, I want the... Wait, no, I want the flame claymore, yeah. Some high latency. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Oh, oh, the javelin hit him. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, well, that's, that's not fun. That's rude, Mr. Red. Here, I'll fight the host. <laughs> I'll keep up with Claymore, man. Boys, boys. I can't abandon the red, dude. I, it, it has to be anarchy at this point. As I hit the red secretly. <laughs> Definitely wasn't on purpose, I promise. <laughs> Alright, we hold the line, me and you, Mr. Red. Hang on, I got a better weapon for this. No, oh, you're ganking the poor red. That's rude. They're ganking. <laughs> oh, this is some really high latency though, by the way. I'm just noticing it right now. I should have earlier, but like... It's pretty high. Ooh. Some iframes on that. <laughs> You know what, I really wish there was a mod in DS3 that put your stat proc counter to the left. And man, did it look cool compared to what we have here. It hurts my soul that they went back to putting it right on the middle of the screen, man. Get him, Red. Go get him. <laughs> oh, good job, good job. <laughs> oh, it's the Arumi. <laughs> oh man. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that worked. One fight, boys. Red with the based weapon. Yeah, I want to use that actually. The Arumi. That's like a Dex weapon, right? <laughs> Woof. I love the, the death animation of someone flying in the air. There's just nothing really tops it. Nothing does. Back to the city? What am I hearing galloping near me? <laughs> oh, that was Nox flowing hammer. Oh, I just saw the whipping part of it. I didn't really look at him to see what he was using. Ah, the mace one. Oh, that one I do have, actually. It's pretty cool looking, actually. That was a lot of actuallys in a couple of symptoms, I'm sorry. Uh, it's not that it's bad, it's just really easy to achieve poise to tank a straight sword hit. Um, so often you'll get out-traded 
You have to be careful when using a straight sword in this versus Dark Souls 3, which stunned you really easily. I actually kind of like that. Poise definitely helps out a lot of the heavier weapons. To an extent. Some poise amounts are pretty ridiculous, but... Um, this one? Oh. <laughs> I thought I was in a dead end for some reason. Oh, I'm, I'm so smart. I'm doing good, man. It's been good today. This is a weird spawn point, though. Um, should I just use the warp? Maybe. Uh, so the way I've noticed, I don't know if, I don't know the exact way the poise has. I don't know if it's a timer or if like once your poise broken, it resets. I think it's that because there was this one point where I was trading with a guy with a katana, right? We both had enough poise to tank the first hit. Then we both got stunned by the second hit. And then when we went for the third hit again, we both tanked it. So I think after you've been poise broken, your poise resets. Not 100% on that though, but that, that situation that I just explained, I don't know how it would have worked if not. Yeah, I know it also resets every 30 seconds, but uh, I don't know how that worked then if it didn't also reset on poise when it gets broken. Rooftop, yeah. I'll definitely have to test that actually, though. That was just like my notice in battle, but. Yeah, this is late. I'm only going to do a few more streams for sure. I'm pretty dead, to be honest. Yeah, that's true. You saw someone test it like that. Okay, that's just from what I've noticed in battle, but I don't know the like to what extent that works. But yeah, I think it's if you get hit, uh, that that hit from that sword minuses how much poise you have left, and then the next one will break you, and then it resets. I think that's the way it works. Otherwise, I have no explanation. Stupid finger brought me back where I was. Ah, so it resets once it's yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Pretty dead, I meant physically. <laughs> Ugh. Where the hell? Why do you not put me up there, game? Please. Please put me up there. Uh, it just needs a lot of patches, Jared. I'm not really not sure, but there's a lot of things that are just way stronger than other things. There we go. Hello. How many are in here? Well, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to leave that general area. <laughs> um, that's basically a death box. Got one. Face me! <laughs> That's what you deserve, Dragon Frame Breath. No. If you're close to it, it's not bad at all, because you can stun it. If you're not close to it, well... What is he doing? They were the Dragon Breath team, for sure. They were just doing that throughout the whole area. That's rough. <laughs> yeah, I used a lot of it. That was a lot of dragon breath. Um, I think of other areas that are really cool. I wish I got more Liernia. I do like the manor, but we don't get it a lot there. Yeah, the perfumers are interesting. I wonder how the perfumes work in PvP. I'll have to try that out as well. He only had Rotten Breath equipped, yeah. It looked like that. Yeah, Moonvale's pretty... It's it's super easy to dodge 1v1. It's really only in 3v1s where, like, you can't be tracking throughout the camera and they get you from, like, a corner and stun you. That's where it's super powerful. 1v1, I don't even mind it at all. 
Still could do it with a uh, damage tone down though, just because it's so much more powerful than all the other katanas, just to, you know, have people actually use different katanas. Whoa! <laughs> oh man, okay, here's a test. My man playing the corner build. Now we fight out in the open, honey. Yumiki, come here. What's happening? Is that a buff? I'm trying to figure out what that is, but uh... Baited. <laughs> that Ash of War is so good at roll catching, oh my god. Where's the host, though? That's what I was also worried about. Did I, I thought I seen his health. Oh, the host is killing enemies down below. Down below? Here? I guess. Parkour. Is that a moon veil? <laughs> That is indeed the Moon Veil. Um, what do we want to use against that right now? Try the Scythe. I wish the Scythe had, yeah, Scythe had a better running attack. I'm coming. Hello there. Running attacks are very nice for dealing with people that play with Katanas. <laughs> uh, the network test. That was the best thing in it. Fun fight, Maria. Yeah, certain Ashes of War reset it, Noel. That's true. Power stance, two curved swords, or two curved great swords? Um, why? Well, I don't have the curved sword that's actually good for a faith build, the, the Megma one. I have to farm it. That one actually looks pretty damn cool. Try two katanas. I haven't done that today yet. <laughs> Just use your special katana weapon art. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't use the blue pew. What in the... Yo, hand, what? Hello there. Let me just... Whoa. Lightning up. Hey, look, another moon veil. Pew! How many more pews? There's another one. Lots of pews are going to be coming our way real soon. That's a tree chase. That's a... <laughs> And it almost grabbed me. Why are the hands hating on me, dude? Oh, shit. But if I also have the moon veil, then what will you do? You don't even care. You still just use the Ash of War. <laughs> Can't even make him panic. Oh. Woo. We'll use this since we can't Ash in right now. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. The, wait, the black blade? Like this one? The black knife? Or which one? Death berry. Yeah, you guys, if I got bled. I guess they both have bleed. I can nest this now. Okay, cool. Cool there, honey boo boo. Oh, oh. I missed. It's not even near me. <laughs> That's funny. I see you in the bush, sir. Wait, you know what? Hang on. I'm gonna try to parry that, you know? Cause why not? Cause why not? Hang on, we'll, we'll make sure we're a little bit more safe while doing so. Get our regen going here. 
I wonder if thrusting swords would have a bit. Let's just keep the the dagger. Let's run up and parry his ash fork. Hey. Do it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> what kind of moon veiler doesn't do Oh the stamina damage though? That's quite scary, to say the least. I wonder if we can parry the sight. It's a little risky to do right now, but uh... Oh shit! Okay, well now it's not risky to do. Um... That one's for death berry. This one's for you. <laughs> it's, it's really handy in here. It's getting kind of handy. Oh. <laughs> oh shit, okay. I forgot that that actually blocked blue. That's this. Wizard! Aww, oh, my backstab. Ruined. <laughs> Wah. Damn. Tried real hard for that one. It's hard to backstab some of the lighter weapons, I guess. As opposed to a lot of our, like, successful ones earlier. Uh, okay, now we can play around a little bit more. What if we... Ah. Not the jump attacks. No, 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 don't do the jump attack. Hey. Come on, hiss. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Get beat up by my shield. <laughs> Don't trick him into doing it. I'm not sure what moment he's waiting for here, but... <laughs> Come here. <laughs> oh, you're bringing him back. Oh. Wow, well, okay. You know, fun. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Parry the world. <laughs> Perry! 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 <laughs> Perry! Wizards in their natural habitat, boys. <laughs> I don't know where his resummons at. Oh, there he is. Okay. Um, all right. <laughs> you guys are standing in a very damaging place here. I don't, I don't recommend, honestly. But, uh, they teach their own. All right. <laughs> Hosty. <laughs> Hosty. I'm with, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> this way. Okay, I want to see if we can do setup parry still. How is the... <laughs> yeah. You got this. I'm out of FP. <laughs> oh man. He's going for the third resummon. I'm sorry, we can't allow that. 
<lacht> Und weiter. <lacht> um, he's cute. <laughs> I didn't want to keep killing the phantom. Okay, we'll do we'll do one more invasion somewhere, boys. Where do we go? Let's uh let's go back to the city and hope we find like a three man team. <laughs> ah, you guys made me laugh. Uh my The joys of Elden Ring. Uh, we found a few uh, during the streams, but not too many. One more. One actual one. That was more of like a meme. I could use the buckler, I guess. This is just the shield that I had upgraded. Yeah, one's a uh, flaming strike, and that's uh, this, one. this one's flaming strike. And then you have the red mains flame one. They're both really good, though. Uh, yeah, I actually love my strength in build, Caesar. I don't use much like spells on it, but there's a lot of swords that work well with it, and cold infusements work well with dexint or strengthened, depending on the weapon. So. Um. Okay, this could end up well. I do enjoy pure strength. There's so many options with it. Since fire infusion, uh, fire infusions work well with it. I can use cold. They do really good physical damage still, and they get the frostbite. I don't know. There's so many ways you can use the strength builds. Uh, the Elden Beast sword is more like a dex. Oh, well, there we go. There's a shield build. <laughs> All right. Well, I knew this was coming sooner or later. What do I want to use? <laughs> That's pretty weak. Wow. Ba -da 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 -da. Hello. Where's your teammate at? I know he's around here. How high is his bleed, do you think? Hmm, maybe it's not high at all. I knew it! I sensed death from behind me. <laughs> I knew that shit was coming my way. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you were sneaky. Not sneaky enough, though. You made one critical error here. The host is killable. More so than Cannon Boy, but... My day is going really well, thank you, man. Indeed, it is. It has been pretty solid. The Halo Scythe, maybe this. We traded there. I wonder what level that Phantom is, because just look at what he's holding. Makes me wonder about the, the downscaling of the game. <laughs> what are we doing exactly here? I see your phantom chilling there, but I mean, I'm gonna take advantage of you being passive anyway. Works well for me. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I thought you'd pull up the shield. You'd never fight me without that. No way. And no way in hell. Come <laughs> on. 
least that chips through the shield. Alberto looking real low. Came out earlier than we should have. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I expected. And now it's just me and Sir. What is your name? Toit? Is there Toit? <laughs> it's got to give them back what they did show, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll call it there. That was a funny one. Here is the build for everyone asking. Sorry, sometimes I, I forget to spare, show it throughout the stream. Uh, I always show it though at the beginning of the, the stream. We talk about it a lot. And then I throw it period or I show it pre periodically throughout the stream, man. I am honestly dead. I'm gonna go look and see if I have anybody playing the Elden Ring that we can raid. Ah yes. Finally. I've been streaming at weird times, so no one I know is streaming when I'm done. Uh we're gonna raid the Sun Queen. She's doing some invasions as well. I don't, yeah, most people don't stream this late, my time zone, but go tell her hello, and she's awesome, and tell her, I don't know, <laughs> just tell her hello if you want to go watch, I'll see you guys all next stream, I'm going to go to bed, I'm pretty dead, honestly, get some rest boys, good games, good games, good night, good night, <laughs> thank you all for tuning in.